What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Ooch with the homie Kai, and we are back again. How y'all doing again? today? Man. How y'all doing today? Like What's going on, everyone? Today's lovely episode of the Full Power Podcast brought to you in part by myself and Kai and sponsors that I kind of have, but hey, I mean, <laughs> saying things right now. But anyway, we have a lot to talk about. This is episode six of the Full Power Podcast. I got my my reference sheet here, okay? Now, we do have a good amount of topics. Um, we have a main topic that we will probably go over first um, because this has been something that your boys <laughs> yeah. have been kind of going back and forth. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm warning you guys right now. I'm going to be troll about this entirely. But at the same time, we're going to learn um, a good amount from this. But I guess to let you guys in on exactly what you can expect to hear today, um, we're going to be talking about a uh, fusion breakdown. We'll get to that in a second. We're going to have, of course, go over the recent Broly voice actor revelation. Okay, more on that later. Toyotaro manga notes. You know, other smaller news about other different manga like the American one that actually just came out. I don't know if you guys can see that right behind us right there. Volume 7 is out in stores now. Um, talking about Super, as always, because, you know, we're... We're waiting patiently. Right. More on that later. Right. Okay. And uh, and then uh, and the, oh yeah, and then so and then also I figured we'd uh, acknowledge some of the comments because we actually did have someone comment from last week. Mm -hmm. So I want to give shout outs to those that actually participate, and they are a part of the Full Power Podcast. You know, so we we kind of take what they say and like I don't know, just have a comment for the comment. Yeah, I mean, we're all in this. Comment the comment. That's what we're going to talk about. That's what, that's what we're going to call it. The comment the comment, right? I don't know. It sounds like commie commie if you say it fast enough. Full power. We're out of control over here. But anyways, <laughs> the first topic, the big one, I guess you should call it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. So this this is this is probably going to be heavy now, heavy on Kai right now. I actually, I actually, I mean, no, it's, it's fine for both of us, but I feel like it might be heavy on me just because I'm going to try to fight the logic. But I like what you called it there. I like when you called it fusion breakdown. Yes. Because it's, I don't, we're going to get into the fusions. We're going to get into specific ones, like the big ones, like Gogeta and Vegito. But an overall fusion as a technique right. comes first right. before we talk about like the actual, like, you know, specific types of fusion. Yeah. So people. basically but, uh, what, what this realistically is about. Okay, we are going to learn some things. We're going to break some things down, talk about it a little bit in depth. But, but, <laughs> this is a battle of who is the more superior fusion? Gogeta, Loki. <laughs> Gogeta or Vegito? Now, I'm biased. I'm going to just put that out right there right now. Should we just go and say our opinions just immediately? Just Oh, yeah, okay. You know, here, here, here. Okay, So, yeah, that, that, that's fair. I say Gogeta. You say Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! I have whoa, such whoa. a problem because I have such a problem because I really, really, I really love both fusions. Don't back down really now. Do. Be honest with the people. I really do. Go ahead. Tell as far as as far as which is stronger between Gogeta and Vegito, I don't actually have an answer. Be but I I will get to that later. I will get to that in my All explanation right. as to why I don't have an answer. We're but use that logic. but okay. when we're talking on a fusion breakdown. Which fusion do I prefer? Whether it's the what is it, uh, Metamorin, like the the fusion dance. Fusion dance. Yeah, but um, whether I prefer the fusion dance or just the actual, you know, Patara, I'm gonna go with the Patara. Of course he is. Is that, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. I have to go with the Patara. Okay, so for all you Vegito so, fanboys out here, you got Team Kai, you got Team Uchi for the Gogeta <laughs> Club. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So go ahead, tell, I, break I it down. I love Gogeta too. Don't be. I love Go Tanks too. Like we don't gotta talk about like. Yeah, what's up? Yo, where where's Bro. Trunkton? Doesn't exist. Fusion boys, we dancing. What about Call? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. All right, all right. So, that, oh damn, I didn't even realize that. There's, it, it's, it's even. It, that's what I'm it's saying, even. bro. Like, yeah, we have we have two Patara fusions and we have two, you know. Regular fusions, if you will, because you know, I got the dance this and everything. Man. So, anyway, so go ahead, break it down for these people that are yeah, listening. Yeah, I mean, do you have anything you want to throw in? Because I can just. So, all right, so I guess my. Like piggyback off you. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so what I want to say is that I am aware 
that uh, I was about to say Gogeta fusion. The standard fusion that requires the dance that is like it's it, it's very like intricate. That's true. Okay, it's That's very true. intricate. Now this well, I like that. I like it too. I think that if you are so in sync with your partner that you got to be to the angle proper yeah. <laughs> or else you look like you should be on Weight Watchers, okay, then that's that's part of why the fusion, I believe, adds some extra sizzle to the shizzle. You understand? Okay. Because, you know, like, it's a technique, like you said. It yeah. is a technique. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it requires training. Like, even though, in you know, whether you're looking at the movie or you're looking at when uh, Trunks and Goten was doing it, obviously, they had to take time to actually finesse it, to learn it, to make sure it was done right. Yeah. Um, and obviously, they had more time to finesse it in the chamber. And during that time, they was able to figure out Super Saiyan 3. Now, that's, that's the first thing I like to kind of bring up because, like, the fusion kept getting changed over the years. You know, like, they just kept changing the rules on, on this particular, like, the fusion dance. Not like, too many. Well, well, that's fine. But, like, let's just w one at a time. So the fusion, the fusion dance would last for 30 minutes. And then you would defuse. Right. In order to perform the fusion dance is fusion ha. You need to, you know, be perfectly in sync with your partner. Every angle, finger, you know, fingers perfectly extended, everything. Uh -huh. You got to be in the exact same frame of mind. Let that river flow through your mind. And, you know, both of you got to have the exact same power levels. And yeah. you got to keep that. Right? Yeah. So it's a, very, it's a very wholesome type of fusion technique, they which I really like. Equal. But you would stay fused for 30 minutes and then you wouldn't be able to fuse again for an hour. Which they recently I forgot about that. just yeeted out of super, just because they <laughs> because they Yo, felt like it. Are you sure though? Like yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, really quick, when we're talking about the movie, because obviously they're not gonna like they're not gonna show like the time that went by to like wait Can for that. Can you imagine? Because that would have meant that Frieza would have gotten his ass beat for three hours. Right. <laughs> so like. Yeah, because even though that could be a slight retcon, mm -hmm. it's a good one. Because I mean, it's like oh, I'm not I'm not complaining about it. I'm just like yeah, noticing yeah, yeah. The, like, the no, changes. No, 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 no. Like, that's true. Yeah, what I mean, they're making. things as we know, you know, we we should know this. Being, you know, so deep in the fandom of Dragon Ball, yeah. we we should be accustomed to things just on the fly changing. I mean, you know, kind of as to what we're talking about with this fusion. Like, look what happened to Patara. We thought that was permanent for years. Until super happened, and yeah, at, yo, exactly. that was like, probably changing. like yo. Tell me that exactly. was the biggest wake up call. We were like, "What, dude? Tell me like, exactly <laughs> what you were feeling or what your reaction was as soon as I, the Supreme Kai or what was it Old Kai Supreme Kai that said the rules? I think it was Kai. Di no, it was Kawasu. No, 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 no. Oh, was it Kawasu that, that explained that, the rules? The rule? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Uh. So, I. I felt, I felt fucking, oh, excuse me. No, I felt, uh, I felt like blue Full power at that moment. <laughs> I power. felt blue balled at that moment, bro. Like being on the, on the more childish, I love Dragon Ball, like kid side of me that, you know, like yeah. grew up, like watching Dragon Ball, seeing that yeah. episode, I felt, I felt betrayed because, especially because I feel like the majority when it comes to specifically Gogeta and Vegito, like that conversation, yeah. I feel like the majority of the fan base leads to leads torn. Oh my gosh. Words. I got you. I got you. Leads full power out of control. Words. Full, <laughs> full power out of control. Got that one. Um, definitely leads towards Gogeta. And facts. That's straight facts. There's no this hands down. I understand that. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm cool with that. Gogeta's dope. You better not have a problem with it. Gogeta's dope. She's but at the best. same time, I was just kind of like, I was in like the child version of me was in this. It was in the mindset. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Both fusions are dope. But at the same time, like. Vegito's is permanent, so like obviously that one's you know clear. At the like, time, yes. At the time, yes. Yeah, the it time, was. That's what it made sense, and then they hit us with this, and I was just like, "Yo, wait, okay, wait, here wait, we wait. go." I was like, "All right, so here we go." So <laughs> Gogeta's just gonna go through the roof from now on. I was like, Dude, "It's over now." I, yo, okay, okay. So when when I, I remember exactly when when I was watching that, as as actually there's a reaction for it. I'm sure you guys could check it on the channel, I right? Was, I was so hyped for Vegeta to appear in Super. Oh yeah, that. No, I was like, dude, I was ready. Though. Everyone was happy. It was a fusion. I that was that was actually like the best episode, bro. The last time I've we saw ever. a fusion that if you take GT away, because for those that are butthurt about G Tizzle, okay, 
Gotenks was the last person we saw. Yeah. That did fusion. Yeah. That think about how many years ago that was. Well, so I mean, to get any kind of confirmation that we're getting somebody back again, once again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm well. In Super, I think we did see Gotenks like once. We did. He got his, you know, he got his ass. But spanked. like, but see, that's the thing. Like, whatever. If he got washed, it doesn't, it doesn't even count. My man Vegito came through for the big, the big surprise. Everyone's fanboying and going crazy. Got the. I remember seeing a, a reaction video of all these like. I don't know if there was Filipinos or like <laughs> some people from some part of Asia, and they were all surrounded around the TV. And as soon as the preview came up, and they saw Vegito. Everyone busted. Everyone was like, Whoa! I remember seeing. I remember seeing your reaction to the seeing the trailer. Oh the end of the episode. my was, god, dude! My reaction. I was I was in my dorm room and I saw the I just the first frame. Like they didn't even bother hiding it. Like they just like came out with that right up to yeah. the end of the episode. And I just saw it. the first thing I see is Vegeta. I was like, oh, I, just, I was <laughs> like Vegeta like, oh! jumping around the room, going crazy. I but was see, like, they really did it. But see, like so, and then fast forward to the following episode. And they, 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 they do the fusion. The Patara, boom, they're together, yeah. right? And then they start spitting the rules. Like mm-hmm. they're like, Oh, like they're they're not they're not uh Kai, so since they're mortals, the fusion only lasts an hour. Right. And I was like, No, yo, me, brother Ooch, who was the only ones in the room, I'm pretty sure I was watching that episode for the reaction. And literally we were just like, oh, What? Yeah. Dude, Dragon Ball has that. Where they can just they they we 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 think we know it all, and then they hit us with a freaking screwball and say, "Oh no, here's another rule, by the way." Yeet. That's what they do. <laughs> Bam. Yeet. That's what it is, dude. Yeah, pretty much. So be like that sometimes in Dragon Ball. Now, nah, now you have all that. That's Vegito, right? So well, there's there's more. Okay, go ahead, please. There's, please. Well, I don't. I don't. I'm not like. I'm not spitting facts based on one side. I'm trying to spit facts on both sides. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, contrib- I'm contributing. Seasons. At the end of the day, I'm a fan of both. Oh, absolutely. That's just what. It, that's how it goes, you know. But yeah. So go ahead. Um, it's crazy too, cause like I feel, I feel like, I feel like if Gogeta had more content, I'd probably like him a little bit more. But we'll, we we gotta see we gotta see what's up with that because because. When I think about like Vegito and I think about like the old Vegito that was fighting Super Buu, like yeah, like the cocky Vegito, but he was like busted. Ah. Uh. He was dope. And people try to argue that like, oh yeah, Vegito, you know, has more of Vegeta's personality. That was one of the things I was gonna get into was a personality with fusions. Uh, is, uh Vegito has Vegeta's personality and Gogeta has Goku's. But when you see Gogeta, if you like split his face in half, you see half Goku, half Vegeta. And I believe that it was stated that for the fusion dance that's supposed to be like a wholesome fusion, but it's been stated for both types of fusions that there's like, there's a chance where if somebody has an overbearing personality, it's going to take over. So Goku. No. Well, I can see how it could work in both ways then. It could. Cause they're, if you, depending on what way you look at it, yeah, they both got overbearing personality. Exactly. But Facts. I think I think as far as a personality is concerned, I think Vegeta has it a little bit further because he's a little bit more like arrogant and just you know very Blasted loud and Kakarot. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know what people people say that people say that Gogeta acts more like Goku, Vegeta acts more like Vegeta. But Gogeta even in the movie referred to himself like Goku as Kakarot. Facts. So I was like, that's interesting. So I was like, I... that's that's very interesting. So I, I kind of thought about that, but I, I know specifically for a fact that for the Patara fusion, it was mentioned like back in Z times that like, yeah, if somebody had like a stronger personality for the Patara fusion, that would take. And we've seen that in Vegito. We've seen that in, we didn't see it in Zamasu because hello, we saw it in, <laughs> Ke- in uh, Kefla. Mm. So like, we know like, you know, stronger personalities will take a hold, but I like, I like the Patara fusion because I don't know. I feel like I feel like the earrings are dope. I feel like the merchandise got to rep the Patara, but at the same time, like that's yeah. like that's the God's fusion. Like that was meant to be permanent. That mm, was meant to be. And yeah, back yeah. in the Z times, Elder Kai mentioned when he first gave Goku the Patara, he mentioned, "Oh, here you can fuse with this. Just put one on your left and have someone else put it on their right, and you'll join bodies." Warning, it'll be there forever. And 
I he just was misinformed you know, at the time. Yeah, he was misinformed. But he said, you know, here, you can take these. And it's actually much stronger than that little dance you do. He was like, oh, word? Oh, I bet. And he just took that. So the only thing is we had we had that that old statement of, okay, Patara is officially stronger, a stronger fusion than the fusion dance. And then they went and kind of took that away with the, with like the Broly movie when they came out with the statement for the two, for the two fusions, they were like, Oh, two equally matched fused warriors or something like that. Do you remember that? That infographic? Like, wait, what, while the movie was playing? No, what? No, not while the movie I was like, was there was playing. no infographics. No, it was during... before, like, just just as like a Gogeta reveal type thing, just giving information, just like introducing Gogeta oh, or whatever. You okay. Know? And they mentioned Vegeta because there's such a huge controversy with the two fusions. Yeah. And they kind of put it to rest by saying like, oh, we're just like they just you know Dragon Ball in their ability to just <laughs> make stuff up on the go. Make stuff up. They literally just cut what they said, and they're just like, yeah, two equally matched warriors or whatever. One last 30 minutes, one last an hour. Supposedly, you can draw your maximum potential from the fusion dance. But in my opinion, if both have the um, quote unquote like defect of losing time on the fusion based on how much power you use, if you put them together in a length, in a length type of deal, Vegito has more time. So then that's just kind of like mm -hmm. it's, it's confusing no, because true. there's no way to tell. And then you think about you think about even in Dragon Ball Super during the Tournament of Power arc, Kefla fused. She was starting to power up against that oh, almost Ultra Instinct Goku, Listen, right? She got she was drilled apart. Yeah, like I know I she I got was blasted apart. I was there, <laughs> but yeah, this girl got obelisk obliterated apart. Bro, she did get sent to the Shadow Realm though. She literally did. She literally, she literally did. did yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'll never forget. That was episode 116. Yep. I'll never forget that episode because he was there. Freaking white. That it was Mr. Zaleski. I can't believe, like, out of all the reactions I pulled up for that one, too. Like, I was not ready for that. Yo. I was actually not ready for that. Mad Luck was in there. Yeah, we had it was, that was That there. was a good-ass reaction. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Tournament of Power. Kefla powering up against the, you know, autonomous, the almost Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, um, mm. Goku. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, Fire. We had Vados mention that the Patara fusion, because both we know that both the Patara and the fusion dance are not two powers added together. They're two powers like multiplied together in a way because mm -hmm. it's significantly amplified. But yeah. Vados herself stated when looking at Kefla that the Patara boosted their power tenfold. So then they put a number on it. So we went from like the Patara being stronger to we're going to nerf the time limit on it to it still has 10 times, you know, multiplicative power on it. And then we're going to release this infographic saying that they're both equal fusions. And it's just it's consistency in Dragon Ball's a uh, meme. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so that's, that's true. It just be like that sometimes. But I got to say, I got to say, other than instant transmission, my favorite move, my favorite move of all time in Dragon Ball is Big Bang Kamehameha. You're always, welcome. Always has been. Always has been. If they ever put that in like in like the I hate to say it, but like the, if they put it in Dragon Ball Super, if they make that move happen, I'ma just I'm just wait for I'ma just <laughs> I'ma give in. So I mean here's a thought, but I wanna bring it up and then I wanna talk about it okay. with another topic later. But so let's try our best not to deviate because this this is oh this is definitely a conversation starter. So are we doing fusion for now? Huh? All right, guys, we're doing oh fusion. no 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 we're not. Because there's other things I wanna mention. Okay, okay. But I do wanna add this because it has something to do with this topic while having something to do with another topic right now. And it is that we might there's a slight a uh, slight chance we might see fusion tomorrow arc slight chance but like i said we'll go into it later and i and i have my reasonings and it's like a new thought that i came up with today while i was at work but but anywho the other thing i want to add to this fusion breakdown is simply that i will say this for the for the vegeto lovers patara is the way more convenient fusion 
Oh, it, as far as conveniency, like the technique, you slap it on and you're Convenience. Just done. Absolutely. Con- so, like, if we're, so that's the thing. If we're going to go with whatever the hell they're trying to officially say, whether dance we, versus problem, earrings like, is yeah, the can. same or, because the, the, way, the way I see it is like, dude, they could change their mind on that Whenever at they, any time. Yeah. For all absolutely. we know, they will fuse and we'll learn something new about it. Like in the manga, like when they're doing the more arc, you know what I'm saying? Continue. I have a thought with that. So like, so like as of right now, if you're gonna ask me, oh, who would win or what, which one, which technique is better, I would have to go with the Patara by the sole fact that all it is is, boom, boom, bam, and that's it. And then they get all they, you know, they get the power boost. The increase, whatever. They're like a whole new warrior, obviously, which yep. means like they're stronger than th- how they were separate or whatever. And and then they have longer time as far as that goes. But the thing is, with, with when you're watching this, this anime, mm-hmm. whether it's a movie or if it's a freaking... It's a series of episodes. If you look at how long Vegito lasted in the anime, bro, he lasted a few episodes. And then that hour went by quick. Why know why? Because they're at levels that they never were in Z. Z, they only had to worry about Super Saiyan. Exactly. In this, exactly. they are they are so so much stronger that they're not they, like. Did we see Super Saiyan One Vegito? No. Or if we did, it was for two seconds because they went Super Vegito Blue. My man went straight to blue, and of course that you know with using more power it lessens the time. That rule is still in effect. Across all fusions. But I want to mention is Gogeta in the Broly movie. When he was fighting Broly, my man was, he came out in base. He showed up, instant transmission, by the way. And he, he, he turned on Super Saiyan for, for a couple shots, looked nice. And then he went blue. Now their fight, arguably, I'm not going to say, like, if, if we're going to compare. Vegito Blue versus Zamasu. You know, Super Saiyan Gogeta giving the hands to Broly. Oh! You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, on, on that, that, that alone, that. Gogeta really. wins. <laughs> on that alone, the debate should be over. Did Vegito Millie on any block? No. Gogeta? <laughs> Hell yeah. Actually, actually, that's not true. That's not true because there was, I don't know if you remember, there was this one frame. I, I absolutely love this when it was uh, Vegito versus Super Boo. And he he didn't do no Millie. He was like, I don't know. He was swaying like Lee. Like this man was just like uh, Super Boo like approached him, and instead of like moving to dodge his attacks, you literally just see the still Vegito just okay, no, like no, 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 at like see, high speed. But it looked so dope for listen, his time. Listen, that's fresh. That's fine. He's a- <laughs> that's fresh. All right, like doing doing the jukes is our is one thing. But if you're Millie rocking on every block, bro. Bro, as soon as that gift was made, not nah, not even the gift before the gift. When I first seen it for the first time, yo, you already know I was in that movie theater freaking going nuts. As soon as I saw Gucci, like he, he was winding that John up, I was like, oh, he was, though. hit him, <laughs> boom, son. Gogeta wins on that principle alone. Forget the power scaling, forget the time limit. My man Millie rocked. On every block, son. He came at Broly with that John. And he was in, ugh, hit him. Boom. <laughs> and then, of course, he goes Super Saiyan. So, so what I was saying before, like, if we're going to compare the appearance and the time that it felt like, it's it's hard because an- comparing anime time to movie time is so difficult. You can't. You can't. And even if you if you bring in Goku versus Kefla, like, that's, that's arguable oh because... Her John was broken. That's how badly she got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I digress. Like on the on the on the like as far as like to put it to rest for for the time being, like Gogito or Vegito, like it really depends who you ask. It depends who you ask and what are the stipulations. I got more to say. I got more to oh, say. Oh, please, because, by all means, go ahead. Because um I told you I've been like I've been preparing for this one because this is a huge one that I've like I've even thought about. Like mm. I like as a kid, okay, like way before like Dragon Ball Super Briefing came out, as a kid, I usually like I preferred Vegito more, especially like 
there really wasn't Gogeta in the first place. Like, we had the movie, and then we had Super Saiyan 4, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was dope. Fire. Okay, that's not a question. That that really made me like him, like, even more. Like, I had, I had, I had a painting of Gogeta on my wall as a kid. I didn't have Vegito. Fire. But I liked Vegito, like, at that time. But, yeah, so... Anyway, uh, I have like two more kind of like points with this. One okay. of them, one of them being that um, Gogeta fights a very strong warrior. Vegito fights fused warriors. Oh, yo! Okay, boom. <laughs> that got me. So damn. Uh, <laughs> Why did I? That's cr- that's that was actually got like. That but was yeah, I like, told I did my homework. That's so sick. So that's that's one of the things I had to think about because I was like, yeah, anytime like a fuse work, because people are like, oh yeah, Gogeta gets down to business. Vegito just likes to play around. I'm like, hold on a second, Vegito likes to play around. You're talking about Super Boo. If you look in Dragon Ball Super's manga, if you actually paid attention to the manga and you saw Vegito with Zamasu, he literally put those earrings on and was like, catch these hands. Like there was not one panel missed in that whole fight. Like he went straight to business. I was like, damn, like this is a different side, but that's. That's some Toyotaro right there. I so. gotta eventually reread that because it was really good. I like I don't like all I remember was that I felt like the ending to that arc was lackluster, and I just stop. And I don't want to talk about it. And I quickly moved I don't on. Talk from about it. it. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I want to revisit it so I can remind myself why I felt that way, yeah. because I all I remember is I preferred the anime version over the manga version. So really, I did. I'm gonna be honest. I I usually prefer just anime over manga for the only sense that like I like being enveloped in the show because like it's oh, animated yeah. oh, it's yeah. the music usually fits so it like gets me more invested mm. in what what's going on mm. but the mangas are always dope like they're so hard like I love it but it's just like not being able to have something like the music or just seeing if I animate it that's <laughs> the, really the only <laughs> thing that's really yeah but like I felt that the Goku Black arc in the manga was so much better than what they did in the anime. It's also- I felt like in the anime, they made Goku Black look like a bitch. <laughs> I felt like he kind of sounded like a bitch, but that was that was some like personal take on like his personality that I think it was actually a good take. I'm I just surprised didn't like you the liked it, it then. That's your, that's your boy. That, of course. There's no question, bro. Goku Black every day. But I'm just saying, like, I can analyze the good and the bad and, like, the good, the bad of that character. Like, when I watch it in sub... That's, a, that's how you know you're a good-ass fan. I respect, I respect all your opinions because you, you point in the cons and the pros. Oh, yeah. I, I like that. That's 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 there's no a good hate. fan. There's just there's just love. There's just right. opinions. There's facts yeah. and there's love. Don't hate. If you're going to hate, yes. go take it somewhere else. That's right. So, Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. But, yeah, so... I don't know, like, what I can't, like, I can't watch, like, I don't know, I watch Goku Black, like, that arc, I always watch it in sub, because that voice, bro, <laughs> that voice, like, her, yeah, and, her in the sub, and then Johnny in the dub, like, they're the gods, like, they're just, they're, yeah, exactly, <laughs> we're gonna get to that, just, we're gonna get to soon, that, guys, soon, we, soon. we're gonna so, get yeah, to that, real quick, because now I digress, so, yeah, Gogeta Vegito, both of them get down to business when they have to. Both of them act cocky when they have to because that's always going to be how they are, period. But I do want to shout out to GT in there real quick because GT was so fire. Mm-hmm. GT was so, so fire. Mm-hmm. It brought in Big Bad Kamehameha. This man faked Omega Shenron out. He said, Kamehameha? He, oh, no. Was it? What Did he do a... I don't think he did a big bang. He just did a regular. He just did a Kamehame and they hit him with the confetti and was like, la, 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 la. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and Gogeta really Yo, hit him I with forgot that about shit. that. Yo, I actually forgot about that. It's been years since I watched those episodes. Oh, man. I was just watching GT. I told you I was watching DT like the other week because I was watching that. I was like, damn. Yo, I should, I should just buy before. that convenient set so I don't have, I mean, I could just go and get my freaking, because I got all 15 DVDs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I remember in GT, they had that problem because I know GT not canon, but like in GT, it is. Gogeta had that problem. They were like, "All right, we're gonna wipe you out." Big Bang, Kamehame split, and they were like, "What happened? It's been ten minutes." Kamehame oh, split. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "It's only been ten minutes." It's like, "Oh, well, I guess I get it since we're in Super Saiyan Four and it's such a powerful form. It shortened our fusion time." Mm-hmm. 
Like yucks. So everybody's getting hit with buffs and nerfs and whatever controversy they feel like printing out the next day. So I got something. Was that your last point or you got one more point? Yeah, that's just I don't know. Like I love like Gogeta Vegito. I love I love them both equally at this point. Although as time progresses, I feel like I'm gonna end up liking Gogeta more. Oh facts. I will tell you this right now. This actually so to 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 end this discussion and yeah. move on before we move on to the next one. A few things I wanna say. Mm-hmm. The one, the first thing I will say is that what what realistically has me loving Gogeta more is just because we didn't see enough of him. It made me want to see him more because I feel like yeah, exactly. Yeah. I completely agree with that because that's the reason I couldn't. That's the reason I always liked Vegito is because there's stuff to watch with him. Like yeah. Gogeta didn't have content, and the only content he did at the time was Super Saiyan Four. Yo, a GT, GT or Janemba. If you watch Fusion Reborn, was 15 seconds, bro. Like he was, it was the toughest 15 facts. seconds of his career, but like dun, still. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, bro. Can we can we really just acknowledge the fact that in fighters, this man powers down to finish Janemba in his dramatic finish. He has he's in blue for normal. He literally turns that shit off. He's like, he's like, I don't, go know, down I don't normal, need this blue color. Saying. Right, just hits him with the Stardust. Just. Dude, he was, dude, my man Gogeta purifies people out here, man. Do you realize that? Purifies. Janemba, if you go watch that Geekdom's true, video. Though. Even in GT, Gogeta's a purifier when he need Omega's uh, negative karma ball back into space. And he just got rid of all dude, the dark he energy. he is Jesus. He's a, <laughs> he's a purification jutsu wielder. Okay? If you watch Geekdom's video, I'm going to reference this real quick. He freaking made a video actually talking about Janemba. Saying how badass Janemba really is. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, Janemba is like the embodiment of pure yeah. evil in one body. Mm-hmm. And Gogeta cleansed the soul. Cleansed it. That's how they defeated him. Cleansed it so that way it was no more evil. And then that's how that guy that was basically the host, he was yeah, like, yeah. whoa, dude. Like, what? I don't even remember what he said, but like, yeah. <laughs> Ran screaming. The other, the other, so, so that was the first thing I said. So, yeah, so like, that's why I love Gogeta so much more is because he looked like a badass when he finally came out for those 15 seconds in Fusion Reborn, right? And the suspense behind it was really, was really cool. The build up behind it was dope because like Vegeta and Goku were literally practicing the Fusion Dance mid fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And during that time. And also, what I realized is that Gogeta is the father of Gotenks. So that makes me, I, see I, I want to there's see, no trunk there's no trunk tin. So that means like where you think Gogeta or even Gotenks got the freaking, the vest from daddy, Gogeta, bro. Right. And no. then of course, and then of course <laughs> to top it all off, and this is before freaking Broly. Actually, I guess there's two more points to this, right? Is when we have GT, you got Super Saiyan 4 version of Gogeta. My man looks like a god. <laughs> right? He literally, like, he looks go- he looks badass. He told he freaking reverses how the formula of what a Super Saiyan 4 is supposed to look like. Where instead of having red fur, he got red hair. And instead of having, you know, like, darker hair, he's got darker fur. He was the original god aura with Super Saiyan Sparkly. As we'll talk about that in another episode. <laughs> but, yeah. And th- so then, and then, and then... <laughs> The buildup for the Broly film, early on when that Broly movie, when the trailer dropped, mm-hmm. actually it was a little before, no, yeah, it was like around, I, 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 can't, I, I forget exactly like the pinpoint like timeline of when they announced the news and all this stuff, but giving around like the, this radius of when they was announced and stuff for the Broly film, they announced that, um, what was that freaking, Fathom Events, was ha- was having an anime feature for Dragon Ball Z films. And what did they what did they announce? They announced that they announced there's going to be three movies where two of them were going to be, be- played back to back. Now, <laughs> the fact that they're playing movies back to back doesn't really matter, but the fact what, what what matters is the choice of movies. See, they could have picked any of the 13, any of them. You know which one they picked? They picked Broly 1 naturally. They picked Fusion Reborn, spoilers, and then they picked <laughs> Story of Bardock, more spoilers. At this point in time, I feel like I was the only. I remember I, that. I feel too. like I was the yeah, only like only dude that was like, 
Does nobody else see Does this? Does nobody <laughs> else see what's happening? <laughs> like, they're they're confirming Gogeta. Yeah, I know what they're you mean. They're confirming Gogeta. That too at the theaters. And they're confirming Bardock appearance. Because yeah. I, I was, oh, man. But I will admit, I was calling some wild shit. I was like, yo, what if they, like, what if, what if Bardock wasn't dead? Like, I was calling some wild shit, dude. What if Bardock wasn't dead? What a time. Dead? No, because think about it. I was like, dude, like. If they're just trying to, like, because they're hitting fan service hard with Dragon Ball. I know. They're hitting fan service hard. I mean, come on now. We got my man Broly. See, yeah, spe- yeah, you got, bro, you got you got your Broly, and I got Goku Black. Now, Goku Black is Oh, yeah, evil Goku, character. son. See, that's the thing, too. I was going to say, like, Goku Black is the character I got that I never even knew I wanted <laughs> because. <laughs> Isn't that the best surprises? Absolutely. That's because, the best. like, I, I loved everything about when I was watching the sub. I loved everything about that character, hands down. And as a kid, I would always like I like I breathed Dragon Ball and like I would draw a lot too. But to one that. of the things that I would draw like more than just once was a Majin Goku. Because I thought about the idea of kind of like an, not not just like an evil Goku. I mean like yes, like an evil, like a more evil Goku, maybe not out of control, like not Goku Black level, but just like someone that's not on the good team. And has the same like Saiyan potential as Goku being able to draw it out and being a villain. Like and Goku Black just in his anger, like better than Turles. Makes clones of himself as a flex and just I don't get it. I don't get it. Black's just nasty. See, I will admit though, to tangent really quick, that like that arc in itself, and this is way before a time where we even knew that Broly was gonna be a, oh, the yeah. next big thing, right? Like as, as history shows it, and I will say this, and I'll remind people for the longest time, like, I'm not going to front. My favorite character up until the film came out was Trunks. Trunks has always been my favorite character. Future Trunks, to be more specific. And, like, I always said, like, Future Trunks needs to come back in some way, shape, or form. And I know that an evil Goku arc is something that fans imagine all the time. And ima- an imagine, that's literally what... Like a lot of people did, and guess what they did? They 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 yeah. put them both in one arc, guys. They gave us an evil Goku with my man Future Trunks. So for me, I was like ecstatic. I was like, oh my god, like this is this is godlike. This is like everything I wanted. Now all they need to bring back is Broly. <laughs> and they did that too. But like. The thing, like, I remember I remember the first time I saw about, like, the Goku Black arc, like, when that was getting revealed, and we saw that picture of, like, him just, like, smirking, yeah. and he had the patara in his ear. When I saw the patara, I was like, what's happening? What's, <laughs> I was like, yo, I was like, yo, what's happening? I was like, who's he going to fuse with? He like, that was the so first bad. thought I had, bro. He looked so clean. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. That, like, the arc in the anime, OD. But, okay, but back to... So, the- see, like, the anime Goku Black... Is very very good, the manga Goku Black. So you prefer the manga version, bro? Look at him drawn in every panel. Oh, so you like the you like that art? That art, you that shout, art out is to Toyotaro. endlessly shout out because yeah, they he drew he drew the Goku Black that I that I like envisioned as a kid. Like that's the Goku Black, like the one portrayed in the in the anime looked like a little skinny bitch, like a little tea sipping. Like, I think compared comparatively, bro, he looked I'm like done. a balloon. He looked like I'm an MC done. Hammer pants wearing. Can't like, touch this. All right, <laughs> get out of here. You're not gonna hate on your own goddamn character right now, bro. Comparing <laughs> him to the way he looks in the manga, he just looks so much more evil and raw. And like, like I said, saying, like like savage saying. I gotta, like, looks like I gotta that. revisit that, John. You do, I do, it's, and you gotta see the way. Young oh, I know, I know, I know, him. young Jizzle. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need, I need to, I need to, I need to hit that. I'm gonna try to freaking, I'm gonna try to have it read by next episode so we can talk about it. Yeah, because that, bro, Super Saiyan Four or Super Saiyan Bros. Like, guys, uh, check yeah. it out. It's perfect. That just sounds amazing on paper. It's it's awesome. <clears throat> but then, the, okay, so then, so yeah, so the build up, the build up towards the Broly movie, and mm-hmm. when I fe- when I put the pieces together, I was like, dude, there's no way Gogeta's not gonna be in this film. And I, I was saying this early on, and no, like just it was just like I was speaking into the woods, and no one heard heard me, right? <laughs> and then of course, as soon it's a good as thing I live in the woods, bro. Shout uh, outs. <laughs> freaking shout outs. But but then like once once time got closer, and then like apparently like there was a, a Xenoverse leak, mm-hmm. and I was like I was talking to Geek, and I was like, bro, like is it Gogeta? And he's like, duh. I'm like <laughs> I was like, okay, well I, I'm I'm glad we're on the same page, like. Like, what the f- like, said, duh. 
Yeah, like, dude, like, can we, can we talk about that though, right? What? What? Because like, I was saying that I was saying that when we were back at your last tournament, and um, we were talking about how I was like, oh yeah, what do games do? They always leak characters right before some shit go down, like the anime or manga, right? And who did they just throw in Xenoverse two? They threw Majub. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! They, yep, in the mm. next DLC pack coming this winter, they threw like the Super Majub and all his new attacks and whatever, and they put like details on him. They made him a whole new character with his stuff. So like, I'm wondering that gap is closing. Anime or manga? We're Probably the anime first because they can like do listen, whatever they want to buy some time for the moral arc. Listen, that's part of look. That's part of that. That ties into what I got here. All right. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they like to introduce introduce characters before some shit go down like they really released mastered ultra instinct like a day or two before the episode that was dropped. a leak that got me tight that was a leak that was that got leaked no no, no actually no, 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 no it got, no, no, it got no, no, revealed no, 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 you're no. right yes like he it came out revealed. in the game before i even get to got to see the episode because the episode yes, didn't air yet so i was playing with the character i got to see his ultimate in xenoverse 2 and i was like man that's the biggest spoiler ever now see? i know how he finishes jiren and he never used the move in the in the manga or in the anime shueisha toei and bandai are all like in cahoots they're, they're the oh best trifecta God. you want to know why because infecta <laughs> no, because they they have it down to a science. They got one department making the games. The other ones, they they got one department making the manga. The other part of them making the anime. They're all cross promoting each other because they're all within the the freaking umbrella. I mean, yeah, but really releasing a character like I know it's whack. I don't like, like that. That like, come on, I, that got me so tight. It's whack, but then again, like, what does it do? It gets it, it sells. It gets people buying that freaking uh, DLC. It gets people playing that game. It gets oh, you people. Oh, you tell me people weren't gonna buy Master Ultra Instinct DLC either way, whatever day they dropped it. Well, no, I'm just. <sighs> that's that's what I'm saying. It's true, but like at the same time, like it gets people that are like very like, like oh my god, I need this now. But <laughs> if it was me, if it was me, I would have at least dropped it after that episode aired. Man, they could have mean, but they could have given us fucking Go Gohan Blanco instead for a day. They could have just. <laughs> That was I, yo. When I saw that freaking preview, I yo. I made the joke prior. I said, "Yo, Gohan Blanco," because I saw the meme for it. I was like, "Gohan Blanco? What the fuck is Gohan Blanco?" <laughs> right? Why did they even refer yeah. to him as Blanco instead of I don't know. I was some, like, "How did that even?" It, it, it had something to do with Ultra Instinct, Shaggy, and shit. And I was like, <laughs> "Can we not man, take it that far?" I hate. I like memes, but I like. I don't like dumb memes. That shit was stupid. That shit was stupid. Yeah, but whatever. So, like, yeah, I remember the Gohan uh, Blanco, and then the next thing you know, freaking, it was, like, episode, like, one something, and the preview comes in, and then Goku's freaking hair is white. Yeah. And as soon as that shit happened, I, I looked, dude, I fell. Like, I, I sunk into the floor, oh. if you watch the reaction back. Can I can I say real quick, just about Ultra Instinct, I prefer, I, I really want Goku's, like, 100%, like, full power Ultra Instinct to be with his hair like up it don't have to be like perfect super saiyan form but like close like in between like super saiyan and what he has like i want it to be like spiked up like that like that full power i feel like it it just looks nicer i feel like them just drawing his hair in white or i guess in a in their perspective just not coloring his hair in and just leaving it white like that i just feel like that doesn't look as authentic i feel like just having a little bit of spike to it and they did it in like a couple like scenes or whatever so you want him to have the same hairdo as super saiyan 2 gohan no no because gohan's is flat wait wait so wait wait wait. so let me get this Can explain like, this hairdo again like like that right like you see like that like that poster right uh-huh yeah so like either just like that in white like the typical super saiyan one for those who can't see what i'm pointing at just like a super saiyan one hairstyle is it or, like that though for ultra instinct or is it like his base hair it's his base hair oh, white. oh yeah you're right damn that's what i'm saying like you're i would right. just i would just like it to be spiked it don't gotta be like even like this right even like this, like spiked up a little bit, some shit like that. Like, okay, that looks nice. Who knows? It might. But like, I, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I want his full power to look something more like Super Saiyan hair, like just like spikier. Because like that, that normal Goku hair, white, I just it's not doing it for me. Yeah, no, that would that would be nice. That's a, that would be a nice touch. Still an amazing form though. Yeah. There was one last thing I was trying to say about the fusion thing before we wrapped up, and then we got into okay. tangents. Um, why why I would why I prefer Gogeta over. Vegeta, but I mean, we pretty much got everything out there. You already know I'm Team that, Gogeta. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have, as far as those two specifically. 
I don't really have a team. I really like them both. No, I really like them both, I but really like, like them both. I will always have my reasons, but even if they're silly reasons, like dude, dude like what? at this point, I kind of like Gogeta more and I'm definitely leaning towards him as, as time passes, but as a fusion specifically, Patara, like I just like the Patara fusion more. Yeah. It's like, you like what you like. Yeah. At the end of the day, my man was Millie rocking. Yours was not. So moving right along. <laughs> But, you know, that was a good breakdown. Pretty much broke the shit down out of that, if that makes sense. Oof. All right, let, let me go over some of the smaller things first. Yeah, go ahead. So that we could get into the heat, all right? So, um, so yeah, so today, um, shout out to Cypher, by the way. Cypher underscore DB. Uh, Cypher's a translator on the Twitterverse of things. Um, and they translated a um, an interview with Toro Taro. Um, now, I don't have, like, the... The interview in front of me right now. I just have like my my notes of what we want to talk about. Um, but what what I can pick up from memory is basically talking about like design concepts and like the ideas that they had behind like certain characters, like behind Mirus and like kind of giving us little hints or or not really hints, but like kind of like keeping us interested in like what's to come in the manga. Like you know, he he ended the interview was like, oh, like how are they gonna defeat Moro type stuff and yeah. all that crap, right? Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty good read. So I would if I would go ahead and give go uh, search up for Cipher. Um, again, translated for the Dragon Ball community. Always translates a lot of the things that are in Japanese that never get officially translated in English for us. Um, it's a it's a it's a pretty nice thread. It's not too long, but there's a there's a good amount of tweets on that, John. Um, and it's it's a good it's 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 always good insight, you know, like just to learn more about like the behind the scenes stuff and. Toyotaro is definitely like super invested in this. Like he's oh, yeah. like this arc is his baby. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like he is taking so much care and he's putting a lot of effort into it. And honestly, low key, it really feels like he's like like it was it was it was low key unclear as to how much Toriyama had influence on it because he's been like hands on nose deep into this shit. And I and I like that because, <laughs> dude, the arc is fire. This is arguably the best arc we've seen in the manga, yeah. by far, hands down. Like that's just like and 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 we don't even know how much longer it's gonna go for. That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like, stop in here. Just keep it going. Just keep it all going. Just keep Dragon Ball going. We'll see. You know, the Dragon Ball is gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, they just, make just too much going. money for these fools. All right, but the fact, but the other thing that I wanted to also bring up that had to do with this okay um also really quick i'll throw out there that uh manga volume number seven is out as you yep. can see that right there so that, that, that dropped today uh shout out to amazon um but yeah so we, they, we we got seven they got volume 11 now volume 11 there are four volumes ahead of us as far as like the tankobon releases bro did you know they have some bonus pages in there really you want to take a guess at who's in the bonus pages of the moral arc? Well, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, because it looks like from... I haven't seen any translated um, versions of those images, but from the scans, like it was the raw... You know what? Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Because you, you bet your ass I saved that John on my phone. Oh, God. I'm gonna, we're going to get a live reaction of Kai right now, okay? Oh, no. Did I just see... Okay, I. Oh God. Swipe this way when you're done. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is all. This is all a recap of like. Yeah. So like I said. So like. like yeah, it like looks the like movie. they're having a conversation about it. Yeah. And they're referencing. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Happened. Like what happened. And that's it. There's just there's two pages. Those are like special bonus pages that are included in Volume Eleven of Dragon Ball Super Manga. So that means that by the time we get 11, hopefully we'll get like a official translation version of that. And who knows if that actually plays a factor into the story or like I said, it's just bonus pages. I I like it. <clears throat> so my idea is this. <clears throat> okay, let's hear it. Now, I know that I've been treated very well. <laughs> okay, I, I know that they've been taking care of a lot of the fan service -y type things that they could possibly do. And I know that all of my dreams have been pretty much 
a, they're, they've pretty much become a reality at this point. I got my Future Trunks arc. I got a, an evil Goku with a Goku Black. They brought in Broly. They gave him a whole theatrical film. Okay. At this point, I, I honestly can't even ask for more. But if I had some kind of whatever, like, oh, Uchi, what do you want to see in the moral arc? Just for the shits and gigs? Bring in Broly! Now, okay, now here's the thing. It's a stre- it's a, the situation is a stretch situation. It's a stretch mm. situation. But hear, hear me out, hear me out. Because uh, this actually goes back to what we're talking about. Remember what I said during the fusion discussion? That I was like, I have something to add, but it's okay. like a, okay. So with this, so when when I noticed this thing, when they do when they do this in anime, TV series, movies, manga, video games, even sometimes in these media formats, they will always have some kind of subtleties, even if it's like bonus. Why would they go out of their way to do things like this without it having some kind of like late like it, it plays on it plays in later on type no, shit. I know what you mean you know what i'm saying it's like a it's like a foreshadow setup right so here's my idea obviously we know goku's training with mirrors vegeta's in freaking yard drive broly's out out there in, in hey we don't know that we don't we don't really know that all right okay i'm not gonna jump to conclusions anyway right Burley's over there in uh, Va- Vado, Va- Vampa, right? Vampa, right? That's the planet. We don't even know what he's been up to outside of the jokes and the memes with Chilai, right? My thing is this. What if, else is he going to do? If Vegeta and Goku are so strong when they come in two months later, all that time that they got that, that, that Jocko bought for them or whatever... And and they and they freaking you know like Vegeta has his his abilities Goku has his mastery right and if Goku and if we're gonna believe if I'm gonna believe that this this is a conversation that they're having and they're 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 reminiscing on what they did prior to this Moro situation right I feel like there is a like ten percent chance <laughs> that with either within the midst of battle or 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 before they think preemptively and like you know we should go in with all the firepower and they just pick up they scoop broly and on top of that the cherry on top we get a fusion between goku and vegeta with their brand new shit imagine gogeta with all the shit vegeta learned and this mastery that goku now has in one fucking character. Now I know that kind of contradicts with the laws of fusion dance because they gotta be even. What if they start even? I don't think that contradicts it. Okay, well it might. Just like depending on who you talk to, they'd be like, oh, but you know, Goku might be stronger, Vegeta might be blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, as long they just they just have to bring their power levels at the same point. Exactly, to fuse. exactly. But I'm saying like we see a Gogeta with what they both bring to the table. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then fighting with Broly, like that's fucking fan service right there. Now, that is Uchi service. You want to talk about Uchi service? It's something I thought about the other day that I wanted to hear your reaction on. I was thinking about like, this is this is so far out there. So don't even. All right, this is just this is just some conversational podcast chat, right? Uh huh. Full power. Out of control out here. In another timeline, in another in another verse, Broly could defeat Moro. <gasps> Do you know why it came to that kind of conclusion-ish like thing? Why? Moro is trash. Like Moro is hold on a second. Like Moro is physically trash. Moro, as far as a magic stance and as far as an energy stance and what he's capable of, is so infinitely expansive that nobody can come close to him in any category period now his big thing or at least so we think because i'm gonna get to that later so we think that his big thing is eating energy and he just so happens to be able to do that on a planetary level he still got third wish that's that's what i was just thinking of too i was like we still don't know what that wish is yo he got third wish bro so we don't know what he's gonna pull out of his hat but Either way, putting that aside for a moment, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Broly could kind of beat Moro. 
because because Moro would resort to just sucking energy. Pause. <laughs> he would <laughs> and he fucked. would just and he would just keep you know like sucking all the life out energy out of a planet, and then Broly would literally go berserk. Moro would be like, well, yo, how much power does this Saiyan have? And Broly would just knock on Mance. And, like, Moro would just keep sucking his energy. Like, just, just pulling everything out as he can. And Broly just go, like, keep beating down. And just swing at him because it's overflowing. And if it's overflowing so much to where it hurts him, maybe Moro is taking so much to where Broly can actually control it because he's not going berserk. The berserk mode that hurts like that is being taken away, but he's still got enough power to beat down his opponent. Now, the longer this lasts, the worse it could get. But Broly's power is seemingly infinite. The legendary Super Saiyan's power is seemingly infinite, and we have a guy who absorbs energy for fun. So when you put those two things together, we've got a problem. I want it to happen now. <laughs> okay. Right? All right. Okay, all right, all right. I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've been trying to practice this self-control thing, <laughs> right? Where I don't get ahead of myself and think like that <laughs> right because let me tell you something if this was uchi like even three years ago i would have thought that shit up first thing just to do because because for me i want any excuse mm -hmm. to see my favorite characters of course but now i'm at a point where like i try to be very realistic and i try to implement like you know like i said realism with logic yeah, and what now. we're presented. I like it's, it's a more mature way to go about things, right? Yeah. And it sucks because it's like inside, you know, the, the fan in you, you're like, oh, yeah. I don't care. Like I just wanted to see it happen, right? Facts. So when when Moro first debuted and we saw what he was, it was his, yeah, and what we his, saw that he was the GOAT. Literally, right? What, like, what his ability was. I was like, yo, they just got to call Broly. They, Broly got it. And then I stopped there. You want to know why? Because I was not trying to get shunned. And I wasn't trying to get, like, put on blast. Like, oh, you're just a Broly fanboy. Yada, da, 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 da. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. But, I've been there. And, and see, that's where my thought process stopped. And I just kept accepting the manga for what it was and not trying to throw in my thoughts in there. Well, there you go. But see, when you put it like this. When you <laughs> yeah, it have just, to acknowledge it. It, it, it. it brings me back. And I'm just like, okay, fuck y'all, first of all, <laughs> if you think that I'm playing. But that is that is sound logic. Because Goku and Vegeta are not like Broly. And this is this is where the Broly man in me comes out, okay? I bet. Goku and Vegeta are not like Broly at, at all. Broly is... The it, true the, Super the, Saiyan. The, 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 not like. even just the truest, but he is most definitely the Saiyan of legend. Okay? Yeah. I will put that shit out there right now. This guy single-handedly has an seemingly an infinite and overwhelming never-ending power that is so overflowing that this guy literally has to get put down and basically killed to be stopped yeah okay now it's, it, it wasn't really confirmed as to how paragus handled it back in the day i mean well he had to cut his tail and then he pretty much just electrocuted him before. Yeah, he yeah, up. exactly. Like he, he, yeah. he kept it at a hold for that. But see, Broly was never presented with a big problem, like a problem as in like someone as strong as Goku and Vegeta. And what is he? He is a character that has the best adaptability. He has the bet. Like Saiyans grow. He takes he takes the literal sayings of Saiyans. Where they get stronger with every fight. I like the I like the one thing. I don't I don't know if you came up with it or not, but I heard it from you. Was the monkey see monkey do? That was from me. Yeah. Broly literally is the like he personifies all of that. Like, look, I know I'm sounding like the biggest fanboy. I'm just trying Bro, to come your up channel. with. You just like, you yeah, Broly. fuck y'all. The Broly man. I'm the. Yeah, you're the Broly man. I'm the Goku Black man. We can fanboy here all we want. Like, <laughs> listen, okay, all right, but like, all right, our characters fight each other. Go, I win. Anyway, <laughs> bro, 
<laughs> nah, say. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's about to be a whole podcast nah, bro, just for that comment. Look, Broly. Okay, let me tell you something right now. Okay, back to Check ba- back to my point. Okay, like he had like I am I am speaking from what how Akira wrote him. I am speaking solely from how Akira Toriyama wrote his ass. He freaking wrote him as a character that has so much power that it basically gets to a point where he can't control himself. Mm-hmm. And what I like to think is that if this guy had a tail, I'm 100% positive he would have forced transformed. Yeah. I I'm almost I'm guaranteeing I mean, that he would have come down and he would have been a super saiyan 4. Um, uh, yes. Like I'm look, <laughs> I've I've been I've been saying this I've said this in other streams, videos, like low key, but like I really do believe that Broly is the first look at what our new Super Saiyan Four is gonna look like when we get to that point. Yeah, I agree. Because with that. that Super Saiyan Four is the true Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan One, Two, Three, those are called uh, what, what, uh, uh, not power levels, but like those are those are um amplifiers, if you will. Those are those are basically like they're they're power boosters. They're not like true transformations. They're literally there to like They're like super enhancements. You can say that. And 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 if you look at Super Saiyan 4, that is the true like that is the, like Saiyans are monkeys. That's a power so strong that it's not it's not something like when you look at Super Saiyan, when you look at Super Saiyan 2, when you look at Super Saiyan three, even when you look at the forms of like the like the buff, like the Super Vegeta form, like uh-huh. the Super Super Goku form, one and a half, with, I like to call it. Yeah, good. All right, great. I, that's what I, so, I only call it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard it called that before. But yeah, when you look at all of those forms, they're all forms that were achieved through like you know, like you know, like hard work and like anger and like something snapping or whatever. Maybe they just figured something out. But they're all forms that were completely controllable. Broly's Super Saiyan fours not controllable you need to like you are in such a berserk state that you need to like refine yourself and like put yourself back down into a state of like reality mm-hmm. and once that happens your full potential is unleashed and that would explain i i know this is like a broly tangent right now but i that would that would explain why so if if we're gonna think and we're gonna sit here and think like okay well if you're if what I'm saying is true, if what I'm saying is if he did have a tail and literally his power is so strong that he would have just forced transformed into Nozaru, then why did when he not have a tail and he kind of snapped and he turned into like his Ozaru base form, whatever it was, yeah. right? Why did he not just go Super Saiyan 4 there? Well, here's the thing. If you notice, it seems like there needs to be a condition. You need to first transform into that Ozaru so that way you can then access that controlled conscious state that is Super Saiyan 4. Go, B- Broly had no control. He yeah. was never, I feel like he was never consciously like there within his own driver's seat. Like his power is so overwhelming that the rage just engulfed this man and just took the wheel. And then even further beyond that, this is where this is this would perfectly explain why and how he's able to go Super Saiyan. Because he his power was not it was going nowhere. It was literally just it was co- it's coming out of him like crazy that his body was already trying to go into an Ozaru and it couldn't because a condition was not met. And but he did it anyway, kind and of he, like he, yeah, he, kind of. Kind of. But so he so what happened? He just taps into like whatever's the next available power source, and boom, Super Saiyan. He, the, you know, oh, freaking Paragus died in front of him. That was his only family. Bro, Frieza is such an a asshole. Clown for He's that. Such an asshole. But it was like the best. He said, "Are you sure Broly's out of power this time?" He was like, "Yeah, I think so." He's like, "Let me try Let's put that to the test." <clears throat> Broly, look. <laughs> I thought that scene was like I was laughing my ass off. As bro. fucked up as it was, it was perfect. Really look, like that is Frieza. That is that is per- Your father's Frieza been perfected. Killed by a straight energy blast, <laughs> conveniently sized by my death beam. Yo, yo. Like, All right, wait, wait. Can we stop for a second? Oh my Do you remember the? God. Do, do you remember the look on Broly's face? Do you remember? Wait. wait do you remember how his pupils exploding? Do you remember how all of the noise of the movie just silenced for that? Brief second and a half, two seconds. Right here. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! 
<laughs> Bro, man's pupils literally just exploded. Oh. He just, when he came out of the ground like that, like, just like rising. I was just seeing Super Saiyan Blue Goku standing there looking at this giant green ball of energy that it is the sum of the, of like the money the production I, made. I, I, I. <laughs> This this really is a full power podcast. Like, so like I I can I will find any excuse to talk about my man Broly. Like th- my man was mini Godzilla. Oh, can we can we also talk about that? Uh, I watched the movie subbed and dubbed like multiple times just because Dragon Ball. But in the sub, there was no line. There was no line at the moment I'm about to reference. There was no line. There was nothing that was said. In the dub, when Goku and Vegeta before they fuse, when Goku and Vegeta are fighting Broly, and then they pass that off and they're like. They give that to Frieza. Goku literally goes, have fun, Frieza. And then he just flies away. In the sub, they don't say anything. So I'm wondering if that was a completely like improvised line for the dub, like for the voice actors. So not that it is. I love that. I thought that was hilarious. Not that it was improvised, but that is just, um, that is just a perfect example of them showcasing the cultural differences in the dubs themselves. Because, There's going to be things that we can't translate because of their cultural differences, like things that just I wouldn't didn't hear them say anything. No, like, no, I know. That's the thing. Like, like, that like, line just didn't exist. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Like for some reason, Goku's character is a little different in comparison to the North American version mm-hmm. of Goku, even though they are very similar, obviously. But there are certain things like, you know, I mean. Also, you have to you have to understand that it's at the discretion of who's ever um, the director behind, like of course. you know the the voice actors, and like sometimes it's even the voice actors' discretion where they're obviously they've been voicing their character for so long they they know this character like the back of their hand, so they couldn't even throw in little things like that that really you know set, you know make the crowd you know enjoy it and they're entertained they're laughing having a, a good time because that is such a goku thing to say have fun frieza that's bro that's just so funny they both flew right by him have fun frieza and frieza's like what i am the mighty lord Fre-. bopped Damn. just Damn. bopped for a whole hour just <laughs> but okay all right, all right, all right. But bring, <laughs> let's bring it back so the whole the whole argument with bro what you're saying broly versus moro like Dude, oh my he God. he. But my point is, is that you're absolutely right, and I and I feel like an idiot for not even acknowledging this then because he could do it because I was I was more afraid. Maybe not to the end, but close. But see, but even then, like I was more afraid of being shamed by the community. And Bro, saying, I like, was I was shamed for being a Goku Black fanboy, but like this three years later, and I was still this is still. I gotta stop giving a shit so much about yeah, what people stop. say, man. Don't. Because That's like, it. Bro, we finally got the people we needed. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'll go ahead. Go. I'm just Dude, wear the hat. Honestly, just... honestly, Broly is the perfect the perfect foe for Moro because Moro, just like you said, Moro is a guy that his magic ability is right. to absorb energy, life energy, all that kind of stuff. But if he is absorbing, like he can absorb it, right? But how is he going to continue to absorb people's energy if he's getting beaten down by That's a guy that has overflowing power? And I don't know if anyone's been talking about it like that, and I hope we kind of are the first, but, like, that is something really to consider. Because he, let's say he takes a chunk, like, a huge chunk from Broly, which kind of almost, like, if we're going to, if we're going to, if we're going to measure his take pa- on that. Huh? Geek, let's, let's hear Geek Tim's take All right, on that. I'll ask him, right? <laughs> but, look, like, if we're going to, if we're going to measure, like, if we're going to graph Broly's, like, uncontrollable state or whatever by, like, a meter... Right. If, if 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 the meter is supposed to say the it hits, broke. say that say the meter is supposed to hit here before it breaks, right? Yeah. Moro is nullifying it. He's neutralizing him. Exactly. Which means that it's gonna keep filling. It's gonna keep filling. Broly's gonna still. He should be good, unless like because Moro's ability is not to instantly take it all in a second. It's gradual, right? So if it's gradual, my man, bro, dude, Broly was fighting. In base form, up until they had to go Super Saiyan Blue. Yep. So they had to go Super Saiyan Blue. So that's literally all I'll say about that. I, I honestly, it would be amazing. Like they, if if they decided to, like even if they use Broly as like the just in case he was just there for this fan service and he he got a few hits in and and we got to see that trifecta, <laughs> like Goku Vegeta bro, bro come on. 
That would be awesome. And like I said, monkey see, yeah. monkey do. Like Broly yeah, catches phrase, on, son. Bro, that phrase really hit me differently when I heard you say that the first time. I was like, wow, Dude, it, yeah. it really is like that, though. He, but yo, if we if you watch that movie, which I'm sure you have several times, like Seven. I have, my man was learning as they was fighting. Bro, how did how did Goku do some? He he did he did a god bind. How did Broly do yeah, it? Yeah, Broly reversed it. Yeah. How did he do it? He reversed it with his own move. Dude, I was in a theater. Everyone was popping off. Everyone, everyone. I was like, this is like, this is everything. Why he's my favorite character. All right, moving right along because I, like I said, I could talk about this man um, all freaking day. I will. Okay, so. Okay, one last thing about manga news: the Dragon Ball GT color manga is out as well in Japan. Really. They just released, I think it's three volumes. I did see something about there being a four and five. I don't know if they're releasing the first three like right now that you can buy. Um, you can actually get them off Amazon JP. Of course, I, we have no affiliation to them, but we like sharing good news for you guys. So for y'all collectors or if you're trying to support the fucking podcast and hook us up with some shit to display on this here shelf, <laughs> then uh, definitely let me know. That'd be nice. But yeah, so you guys can definitely check out the Dragon Ball GT full color manga now, which it's not like they redrew it. Obviously, it's basically screenshots mm -hmm. of like what happens in the anime, but in manga form. So actually, hold this for a second. It kind of. Where is it? Oh, no, this is the novel. There we go. It kinda is like this. This is the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie um, full color. It's kind of blurry, but there you go. All right. Just to give you guys like an idea. Okay, like it, it's it's the screenshot. You can hold that if you want. It's the, it's the, it's basically screenshots or renders of the film like frame by frame and they put them in, in manga format. Um, and weirdly enough, they never translated it so that they could localize it here because I'm sure it would sell just as well as it would have in oh, Japan. Yes, it would. Yeah. So, I mean, but of course, if you're going to be a collector like me, a big fan like me, obviously, like, I'm, you know, I, I can't afford, yo. <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford everything. I can't afford everything Broly, but, like, I do, I do want to, like, eventually have, like, a very large collection of. Um, what do you call that? Broly merch. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Like I even bought. There's a there's a novel of this. There's a there's a novel of this movie, right? That includes some scenes that did not happen in the film, and of course, it's only in Japanese. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a three hour film, right? And then it got. Oh, there it goes. You I felt that coming. Yeah. It it like it was it was supposed to happen, but like I mean I'm not. Well, I'm sorry. Now that it was supposed to happen, it should have happened. They should have translated it so that way. But um, apparently, nothing crazy. Like you know, like we didn't really miss out on too much. But there, there are some things that you don't see in the movie that happened in the novel. But that's as bad as the point. So yeah, so the GT um, color manga is out there available now. You guys can check that out. Um, on oh, so there is there is one comment that I figured if I can have access to it um, that. Uh, someone uh, commented on last week's episode, episode five, mm. that I figured we could talk a little bit about before we wrap it up with the big news. Oh, okay. All right. I feel you. Okay. So uh, here it is. So now again, guys, this is this applies to anybody. So again, feel free to comment below. Um, let us know any kind of, uh, you know, ideas things that we talked about within the episode that you might want us to elaborate a little bit more on or if you want our opinions on something, that's definitely something that we are willing to, um, you know, do for you guys because, again, we, we do want people to, um, you know, we do want people to, you know, be more, uh, like, involved with the podcast. So, all right, so this is by BioBooster77. So shout out to BioBooster for this comment. So, so they say, could it be that Beerus destroyed Frieza's planet? So this was this was this. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Th this yeah. comment was, I guess, directed at when we were talking about like well, what, like why uh, the Frieza. Why Frieza hates? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he says, could it be that Beerus destroyed Frieza's planet? That's the reason why King Cold said to him to never piss off the God of Destruction or Boo, and that while Beerus slept, any of Frieza's people that was left was charged 
with destroying planets, and one of them just happened to be the Saiyans' homeworld. So that's, I mean, that's like a, that's a pretty, it's a pretty good idea um, to have. However, the only, the only counter I have to that theory would be that we usually, especially in Dragon Ball Super more than anything, we hear Frieza's inner thoughts frequently. That's true. Yeah, and it's never once been mentioned like right. if he's ever had like a motive behind his hate, or that we've that we've heard of. I was gonna say not far. even that, but just the fact like his interactions with Beerus or stuff like that. Like he's never even held like any specific resentment towards Beerus. It's just those stupid monkeys. Yeah, that's also true. That is also true. I mean, like that's the thing. Like that's why that's why we talked about it last week. Like. I would yeah. love to learn more about Frieza's race. We need to race. learn more because that's not, yeah, that's just, I need more, especially for someone like him. And mm -hmm. give us Cooler too. It's happening. Cooler's next. I can literally almost guarantee you Cooler's next. If there is any other character that was not Akira's, T Cooler has to be next, just based on the principle of everything that's been happening with, with, the, with them setting it up without even really setting it up. Like, they said, af dude, after now, Frieza saw... Okay, 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 okay. After, after Frieza got the hands, saw Fusion, <laughs> then left, literally said, when I come back, I'm going to freaking take over, blah, 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 like he normally says. That is like a reinvigorated Frieza. Like, we might see this man actually take them seriously on a level where he really does train but and like, all that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope he doesn't pull up weak again. Like, he, he's a smart villain. Yeah. He needs to, like, he just learned how much these monkeys can progress in a mere hour or less and fusion, which I don't even know why he was surprised. Like, oh, you could fuse? Like, nigga, you saw Kefla. Yo, but listen, just like you said, with those same smarts, he's not going to come alone. They're setting it up without setting it up, dude. He's All right, so I have, a, I have a question for you then. Okay. Pretending we're going to get cooler, right? We're going to. What form do you think he's going to get? You think he's going to get gold? Because Frieza stated that his gold, the color, came out of pure hatred for seeing Goku's Super Saiyan. And then, wait, but then he said, uh, and then he said that he just figured he would just do it. Too like that was the yellow, you know. That well, was because his super he well he unlocked his golden form or whatever. But yeah, he literally made it golden as like an homage to Super Saiyan because right. he got his ass beat with super with a yeah with it's a an gold homage. form. So exactly. So that's what I'm saying. If they give it to Cooler, do you think it would be gold? Platinum. Do you think it would be platinum? Do you think? <laughs> what do you think it's gonna be? Because like. I'm sure they wouldn't. They would totally like. They would not recycle. All right, a all right, all right, for I, his got, race. I got you. I got you. But all yeah, right. go ahead. So here's all right. So here's my thought on that. So get silver first. They're gonna put him down. All right. <laughs> so here's his thing. Ready? So again, this would be a new cooler. We gotta remember this because this is a Kira Toriyama's cooler. That's true. Okay. This would be his cooler, which means that he might necessarily not. He he his character might be written maybe not so differently, but def definitely different altogether that's so he, he might he might be a little bit more stuck up or he might be more like whatever but if he sees that his younger brother has a has an ascended form and is golden he might already have that but if he doesn't or 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 even if he does it could be a different color just off of the principle and who knows it could dude it could just it could just be like a more a different shade of purple it could be whatever but platinum is the way to go so that that's my thought on that that that's that's that, that's my thought on that yeah, i just think about it because you know they like to switch up the colors yeah they're gonna and, hit us know, with a mix because yeah. people, people are gonna think golden and plus we can look at the super dragon ball heroes he already went golden in that and normally super dragon ball yeah, heroes normally. they do a lot of things that you'll never really see in the main continuity oh oh, oh. like hearts. bro why bro, is everyone going energy yeah, but why is everyone going Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God? Like, bro, come on now. Like, if Akira gets his hands on Cooler, bro, he's going to rewrite that character. He's going to make him better than he was before. He was already a badass. And he's going to give us a mix. He's going to give us Platinum. He's going to put Platinum on Cooler before Frieza. And I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. I don't know about that. I would, I would like to see it, though. And we're back. Had to change out the camera battery really quick. I need to uh, invest in a uh, 
a forever battery on this <laughs> uh, camera that I got right now. But anyway, so to wrap up this uh, episode six of the Full Power Podcast, we do have one final um, heavy discussion topic that I definitely will say is pretty freaking heavy, and that's basically doing part that um, I was right. I called it. I was I was spot on. We are both just losing our minds I, at this a week ago. I, and now it's I, really re- it's reality. I like, literally I, I I was thinking about it all day today at work. All day today. On the drive there, on the drive home, while I was doing my thing over there. I saw he responded to you on Instagram. And he responded to me on Instagram. Yep. You wanna know who he is, guys? Johnny Young Bosch. A goat of anime voice acting. Dude, just voice a acting goat period. of life. Just an actor, bro. This guy was oh a prediction God. of mine. Let me just let me just run it back for y'all. I I saw I said it in the video for those that are coming from the reaction or you haven't seen the reaction, go go check it out. Okay, I was streaming Pokemon. I was I was losing my mind during your reaction. I was, I was like, streaming to reach you. Pokemon, bro. Like, and this. I, like it, like okay, this is how you know it was it was it was a breaking news. Like I said, I said literally, I said breaking fucking news. Like it has nothing to do with Pokemon, but <laughs> cause cause I got a message from Geekdom himself, and he's like, "Dude, check this out." And I clicked the link, open Twitter, and it's a video of Dimitri from Bandai. Playing fighters. It was a clip off the fighters stream that was going on while I was streaming, and they were doing Broly. And you know, I didn't even think, like, oh yeah, this would probably be where we'd find out how, what he sounds like, because the trailer didn't reveal it. I didn't even think. It didn't even cross my mind. The clip plays. It's him doing a level one, and I'm like, oh my god. Like I was, I, I was speechless. I was, I was literally speechless. I literally got up. I had to, I, I like it took. I found out at the same time you did because I was watching your stream. It took me a very long time to process. I played that clip over several times, and I fought, and I looked at the tweet that was linked to that, and it, and it was Geekdom confirming that yes, that is Johnny Young Bosch, aka Black Power Ranger from Mighty Morphin. Bleach, uh, Ichigo from Bleach, yeah. and I literally it it took me a. I'm bro. not I'm not even gonna cry now because I got all that shit out the way. Bro, he's yesterday. he's Yukio from Blue Exorcist. He is Lelouch Sama. All hail Lelouch from Code Geass. He is he is now he's about to be Zora in in um, Black Clover. No, the fuck he's not. He's Zora. Like Zerks? Did you did you look at his Is he Zerks? Did you look at his page? You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> he's also he's in, he's in oh, I think you saw it though. He's in Demon Slayer too now. I knew about that he's already. A, yeah. But yeah, no, he's he he made a post that he's uh he's Zora. Dude. He's he Johnny Young Bosch has been one of my favorite actors. Like, not even just voice actors. Like, he's been a favorite actor of mine since Power Rangers. And then he's done a bunch of characters in video games. And obviously, he was Ichigo in Bleach. Like, that's a huge one. That's, that was his solo main cast. I mean, bro, even before then, he was, what was he? Uh, um, he was he was Kaneda in Akira. Mmm. Bro, that's a my man has an illustrious career, an illustrious career, and now to top it all off, bro, I called that just off of pure like I don't even know who the hell else it could be, but if process of elimination is a thing, that's insane. He zerks, he zerks in Black Clover. That is ridiculous. Now I have to now I actually want to watch the dub again for Black Clover. Yeah, but like, dude, just to think about it, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came out with another post, too. So, yeah, it's definitely... Do you know... Now that I'm thinking about this, do you know that when I was being, like, teased about it originally months ago, I called it then, too? 
But of course, I, I, it wasn't confirmed or denied because obviously, like, for obvious reasons. But he's like, just, just I was like, like I, I literally was like, I remember that. I was like, I was like, is it Johnny Young Bosch? Like, I couldn't, I can't think of anyone else like who hasn't done Dragon Ball. He's the only one that I feel like hasn't done Dragon Ball yet at this point. That's like a, cause the, the, the hint was that I know him. Like, you know this person. And I feel like they do a really good job. He's a dope. He's a dope actor, voice actor, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, the news is is that Johnny Young Bosch is now the new voice actor for Dragon Ball Super's Broly. My favorite fucking character. And I called it. I called it a week ago. I called. I mean, longer than a week ago. But like, with you, it was a dude. Oh. We had that conversation. We were so we were both like losing our mentality at the idea like we weren't even done fantasizing about hearing like him do voiceovers in dragon ball and then less than a week later confirmed that's like wow that's so crazy like bro we were right here talking about this like <laughs> that's so crazy dude i was i was i literally i bawled i cried it was all raw emotion all happy all happy all happiness shit. Cause like, dude, it's one dude. It's like it's one thing, right? It's one thing that I called Broly as a character for the movie back when I was a part of the I was a part of the group of people that was deemed a dumbass, an idiot, stupid. Why would you think it's Broly? If you think it's Broly, you're fucking retarded. I was one of those people that were being made fun of. Yeah, and then to only an hour later shitting. On those motherfuckers that were <laughs> saying like, oh my God, if you think it's Broly, you're like, I bet those morons felt like dickheads. <laughs> Complete dick. And like, dude, this is even, this, dude, this, this goes back even further. Like I was like, when we were in the Dragon Ball drought, I was like, dude, one day Dragon Ball's coming back. There's no way it's not. Yeah. There's no way it's not. And then we got Battle, Battle of Gods. Gods. And I even then, even when I said years ago, I had a lot of people in my ear telling me I was dumb. That I was like, oh, like, that's never happening. We're just going to appreciate Dragon Ball Z for what it is for the rest of our lives. I was like, but that's not how nostalgia works. That's just not how business works. Like, <laughs> that's, that's not how business works. That's not works. how business works because, like, you can, you can have anything that's popular as long as it was popular at some point in time. It'll be back. Give it like 15, 20 years if there's nothing new for it. Oh, they bring in Code Geass back, so you know Johnny gonna be busy. I can't believe, too, like, bro, like that. I really, I was talking to you. I was talking about how I wanted to meet him. Like, I met him already. I know, but like, I need, I need my chance. Yeah, like. I met him because of and Power now, Rangers. And now, but like, I, I was thinking about it like a couple months ago because like I wanted to get my Zero costume, right? This is like off Dragon Ball for like 30 seconds, so give me a moment. Go ahead. But like, uh, Full power, out of control. Yeah, this is when I wanted to get like my stuff ready for uh, 2020 Comic Con so that I could like, I was thinking about it, I was like, man, I don't even know what panel he's going to be at if, if I'm even going to get a chance. Because he's Broly now. Like he's going to be at every panel. He's going to be at every con. Like he signed up for this. Like now there's no question. <sighs> well, you know what's crazy? Like, and I even heard, I, I seen, I haven't heard it directly from either voice actor themselves, but I've seen so many people state it that I feel like it could be true. I'm not saying it is true, but um, that Vic did give his blessing. He did. That's yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. I've I heard the same thing. I kept seeing that about like, yeah, they're cool about it and they're just. Yeah. And that's, and that's good to know. That's healthy. Absolutely. You know, and like, I will say this. For those that have noticed that I've been noticeably quiet about that whole situation, and that's because it's on purpose. Because like, that was a, that's a topic that is very touchy, and I know there's a lot of people that take sides, and I chose to not speak on it mm -hmm. because I just didn't want to get like twirled into that cyclone of shit. Because that's what it was. It's a cyclone of shit. Like it's just no matter whose side you're on, if you're pro Vic, kick Vic. <laughs> uh, like no that's that's those are the real hashtags those are real fucking really? hashtags bro i'm telling you man it was a really 
ugly time for a really long time. I remember it being a huge thing for a long time. Dude, I didn't like see no it was so like much, that, dumb, so, it was so much drama and all this crap. And I just chose to not say anything, not speak on it, mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, I was just like, you know what? Like, yes, it's terrible if all the things that he did is true, whatever, right? And at the same time, he has always been one of my favorite voice actors and not even yeah. just for Broly man dude my man was El- Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist yep and I met him twice he signed my Full Metal Alchemist original uncut box as one and two I met him in a Ruby fucking Tuesday yo <laughs> That's crazy dude this and this was on the second time the first time this is when I was young and stupid I didn't have him sign my Broly 1 DVD case. He signed my Broly 2 and Broly 3. I was a dumbass back in the day. I was a fucking idiot 12-year-old that was like... Yo, I was the kind of kid that was like, oh, sequels are always better than the first one. Get the (laughs) fuck... If I could, dude, if I could hit myself, (laughs) if I could hit 12-year-old Uchi, I will kick the shit out of myself, bro. But regardless... He signed my second coming and my bio Broly case, right? And then years later, I'm like, you know, way older at this point, and we go to the same anime convention, and he was a, a, being featured as another guest, and like, the line for this for him this time was, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. It came out of the of the fucking building and wrapped around the building. The whole convention center at the time was the Garden State Exhibit Center. Pretty big convention center for, you know, what it was at the time. But, like, it came from in, indoors all the way out and around the entire facility. And I looked at that line, and I'm with my family. I'm just like, fuck, I guess I'm not seeing him. Papa Uch with the bright idea. Hey, well, I guess it's dinner time. Let's go to, you know, let's, let's go do something and then go to Ruby Tuesday. I was like, all right, whatever. We're playing games, having a good time. Not even thinking about it because I wasn't trying to be depressed. Go to Ruby Tuesday. And who is right there at the front fucking door waiting for a table too? That's so crazy. And he was so nice to me that he literally waited for me to run out, grab my box sets of full metal that I just bought and sign them. Everyone has a different experience. But because it was so controversial, I chose not to say anything. So what I'm trying to say now is that his voice for the character will definitely be missed. I will tell you that right now. Hands down. Now, I, I, that's all I will say on that. But what I will say, and this is more fan service, <laughs> is that if time, pa- if, if time passes far enough into the future... Time is a is a is a healing factor for a lot of different very things. True. Okay, to let the time go on. Let let it just simmer away. Let it do its thing. And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna sit here and wish this happens, but I'm saying if it ever does happen, that would that would be crazy. If we got like past versus the present, I knew, it. I knew that's where you t- <laughs> I had a feeling. We got classic Broly versus fucking Super Broly. Yeah, yeah. That shit. I mean, I want to know what their interaction would be in fighters. Well, that's all. Oh, wait, but you just gonna scream at each other? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> that's what I want to know. See, yeah, that, that's the thing. Like the only kind of interaction that we'll ever see them having is through video game, probably with fighters only. Yeah, yeah. Fighters is the only game I can think of right now because that's because you don't play Xenoverse two. Well, no, because then. Wait a minute. Didn't they have a... They already got the voice track because that character's been out in that game, though, for, like, a year now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he... Do they have English voices in that game? Yeah. What kind of question? I just got to ask. Sometimes they don't. Really? Sometimes. Sometimes. Some games don't. Sometimes some games are just the Japanese voice track. My Hero Academia 1's really? Justice was literally just a Japanese voice track. They didn't have English voice. That's weird, considering they have a lot of fire voice actors. In I know, world. but that's, dude, that's some, weird. When they're trying to cash cow shit, I mean, okay. and they make the quick buck, that's exactly what it is. Gameplay suck anyway. Um, yeah. So I mean, dude, like, that's that's a real question because like you figure they'd have to they'd have to update that game too with with his whole dialogue just to put him yeah, in. There, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'd imagine. They already had Vic's track on there for the English. Yeah, voice. they probably didn't. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like they're not 
So that's why I'm saying fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters is the only game that will have with both voices. Yeah. And I don't think, like, the only kind of interaction that could possibly happen, like a unique interaction, is if they had Johnny say new lines. That when Classic Broly was on the other side, he said something like, who the fuck are you? Like, you know, something like, I don't know. Like, some crazy shit like that. But, like, it, 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 but, it, at this point, it's a dream if it happens. But here's the thing. Fighters have been out for a while. Mm-hmm. And old Broly's voice has already been locked in. Yeah, old Broly, right? That right. was the classic one. But this new Broly literally comes out in two days. However, how could they add a new line for a new interaction with a new Broly without him? Well, that's what I'm saying. It would only be from the new side. The old side would have all the same shit. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's just that's so. Like one side would be very like would be like standard. And the, the other old side Broly would just be screaming, and the new Broly would like have a line or two or something mm-hmm. if they even bothered. If to they give decided us one. exactly, yeah. if they decided to even go that go with that. But I mean, hey, Kay. at this at this point, that is a dream scenario. If in Don't time, find out Friday, it, dude. If they if in time they decided like you know time passed and everything is okay, whatever, and they decided to rehire this dude as a surprise or some shit. Thursday or Friday. Huh? Thursday or Friday? Well, for fighters. The yeah, de- right. December fifth. It was the fifth. So it's the Thursday. Okay. Thursday, Thursday is Thursday. when the, when he drops. Yeah. So even better. Yeah, I mean, I'm, and I'm speak. I'm I'm saying for like an anime movie situation. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like for video games or anything like that. I'm talking about like you video know. Games are fire though. Yeah, I know. But in the way that we'd all obviously want to see that interaction, because like, yo, into the Broly verse. Broly's that co- that popular. He could get a Broly verse, bro. Into the fucking... Bro- we got Spider-Verse. <laughs> My man, Broly-Verse. Geek them joked about it, too. He's like, into the Broly-Verse, bro. I'm like, hell yeah, that's my movie. <laughs> Look at all the Brolies. That's my movie. <laughs> Yo, imagine the plot is classic and super Broly have to defeat Bio-Broly. The shitty Broly. <laughs> there you go. There's your plot. Done. There is your plot right there. So, but yeah, guys, I'll have to do it for uh, <laughs> this episode of Full Power Podcast. I, 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 I think I'm closing this out by myself. It kind of left. It kind of, it kind of left on me right oh, you there. You really had to bring up Bio Broly on us. This was going so well, dude. I'm sure everyone would not mind Bio Broly being getting the shit kicked out of because that character is garbage. Which is why we don't need to see him again, Hakai. <laughs> Hakai. Oh my god, that's fact. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited that like like the fact that they got Johnny in there in the booth for my favorite character, it means a lot to me personally. It's like a lot to me personally too. Yeah. I've heard a lot of his work. He's really good. He is a, he, does. he is You know what's funny amazing. like amazing. Bro, this man's resume as it is is already godlike. Yeah. Now? Now, now, now he's sitting like at the top. My man is <laughs> like, a, my man's about to get a statue. Exactly. A whole Johnny Umba statue. Yeah. In Washington D.C., in Texas, New York, Japan, this man's gonna be everywhere now. He is arguably up there. I w- honestly though, see, here's the thing: Sean Schemmel and Chris Sabat are legends. True. In 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 in, in themselves, why Goku Vegeta? Correct. And now Chris Sabat got All Might. Oh, yeah. So that's... Yo, and Sean Semmel, like, he does have other anime roles. Like, he's like Lucario. He Lu- yeah, Lucario's he's, the other, like... I think he's done Ryu. Really? I think. Or no, I'm thi- I, might be think- I might be thinking of uh, Herbert. I know Matt has a poster, a signed poster. Yo, Matt, Matt has a signed poster of Sean Semmel, like, the first time, uh, back in, like, 2015, con or whatever. And he, saw- he signed it. Kamehame? Hi. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's Sean. That's Sean for you. But yeah, it's uh, it's okay because we got more do potential want? Dragon Ball Super stuff coming. Oh yeah, soon, oh, oh. hopefully. Oh, did Looking I forget to talk to that. about that? Yes, you did. Wow. Okay, last topic. 
<laughs> Dragon Ball Super. So I slipped it in there real quick. Thank you. Good segue. Dragon Ball Super is definitely coming back, guys. I mean, it was happening, but now we got more leverage. Thanks to Geekdom. Shout out to Geekdom, okay? Geekdom reported it. Um, but he basically re- he basically brought to light, because I definitely wouldn't have caught it, was that recently Ryo Horikawa, which is the Japanese voice actor for Vegeta, yeah. confirmed that he had a meeting with Toei and that he couldn't reveal the contents of what the meeting was. They were but, talking about Vegeta's new superpowers. But he hashtagged Dragon Ball. So you know what that means to me? It's coming. Not only is it coming, but I'm foreshadowing a name change. Dragon Ball Super Z. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon Ball Super Z. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> it's a Super Z. That shit would be fire. Oh my god. That needs a trap remix immediately. But yeah, whether it's Super Z or Z Super or it's Super Two or Z Two or it's. ZDN, these nuts. Dragon Balls with a Z. <laughs> Dra- <laughs> Dragon Balls. Right? Imagine. Yo, that shit, <laughs> that shit would be funny as fuck. But all right, listen, listen. No matter what the case is, that actually might be a, a good tease because honestly, okay, well, it could, one of two ways. Obviously, he couldn't hashtag Dragon Ball Super because that's, that's a clear. That's, he just spoiled yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, but if you yeah. hashtag Dragon Ball... That give that that that's like kind of like oh like you can get people thinking anything like people have thought like oh what if this is a meeting about Super Dragon Ball Heroes and that's debunked right off the bat because Bandai is the one that handles Super Dragon yeah, Ball Heroes course. not Toei so yeet to y'all that thought that and yeah so I mean dude content is on the way Jump Festa is around the corner which is another possibility that we might get an announcement. I'm not going to bank on it because every time we we get hyped for Jump Festa, they don't announce shit. Like, And that goes for anything. Like, We're waiting for Bleach to return. No Bleach. We're waiting for <laughs> Dragon Ball. No Dragon Ball. Like, To be fair, though, it's kind of good. I mean, no, it, it, it is kind of good that it's not coming out like around this like fall 2019 because there's so much other stuff going on listen, right now that pe- for people to keep up with. Kyle, let me remind you something. So, like, Let me remind you something, bro. I mean, we should have gotten it before. I'm Look, not saying they can keep waiting, but listen. I'm just saying, like, right now is definitely not the time because oh, a lot no? of stuff's going no, down. Now's not the time? Let me, let me, let me, let me remind. Now is always the time, bro. Like, th- there's no time like the present. However, I'm just saying there's too much, like, other stuff's going on. So if they want to. Here's a, here's a, here, here's. They're he, just dangling it over our heads. Here's, like a, here's, here, here's a shot of reality for you. And this is a shot of reality for all y'all that are watching right now, right? Or listening, whatever. Name. All of the anime that are currently showing right now. Or well, some. Some that you could just think of the top of your head. And if you and if you can't, I will for you. Okay. My Hero, Black Clover, Doctor Stone, Sword Art, uh, Demon Slayer. That's uh, done, but okay. That's fine. Oh, it is oh, it's done? Twenty six episodes, season one. Oh, okay. I'm still I didn't finish it yet. I, I got like super Bro, uh, but Nezuko's that, okay. a beast. Throw in Diamond Demon Slayer. Go ahead. Anything else? Nezuko's a beast. Nezuko is a beast. Anything else? That's five. Um, there, there's one more. I can't, I can't think of it for some reason, but I know I've been keeping up with it. Um, oh, Seven Deadly Sins. That's what it was. <laughs> okay. Seven Deadly Sins. That's six se- series you named. You know, you know what they all have in common? What? They won't fucking matter if <laughs> Dragon Ball comes back. <laughs> Do you think I'm playing? No, I know it's facts. I'm just Dude, saying. dude, dude. Dude, do you understand? Do you have any indication of how life works? I get it, bro. I, you're right. You motherfuckers I, I just, plan I, I, around I just, Dragon Ball. People drop shit for Dragon Ball. You understand? <laughs> People will stop doing everything. They will make sure they're home on a Saturday night at 9 o'clock. <laughs> For that crunchy roll to they update. Will switch shifts with people. So <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Bro. As soon as I you know can, that they could have the worst type of marketing and say right now, Dragon Ball Super is back. Or Dragon Ball whatever the fuck and it is. And everyone's just is gonna back. go crazy and just Everybody lose it and bounce off the walls. Will bounce off the fourth wall. E- yes, they will immediately jump to it. My hero deleted. Black Clover deleted. <laughs> Doctor Stone deleted. Fire Force Sakujo. deleted. The Demon Slayer forgotten. Deleted. 
forgot. Seven deadly <laughs> sins. You wish you freaking prayed. Deleted. They're all done. I don't care. Attack on Titan. Deleted. They're all done. Dragon Ball is 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 the special it factor. No matter what show they can Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls, son. <laughs> That's what we're gonna refer to. Doesn't it matter what on. you call it. Temporarily. Dude, they're at a point in life right now that they're at an all time high and they're gonna keep growing. They've done they've done everything right so far with the manga being fire, with the movie being fire, the term of power being fire, the fact that we haven't gotten no anime. Since then, it's you know it's we're on really been almost two, two years. years. That's so crazy. We're on the cusp of two years. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Is it like so? The other thing about that is that the question is: It gonna be a movie or is it gonna be the series? Or is it gonna be both? It's gonna be both. We just don't know the order. You think it's gonna be both? I absolutely think it's gonna be both because they've been hinting at another film, and it's clear that films are making them money. And they're gonna do what makes them money. They have the budget, and I and this is the thing. If they and make, if they didn't have the budget before. They do now. Oh, so they <laughs> no excuses left, bro. That is the most selling. It's like the best selling movie since like Pokemon. One, Pokemon one. Do you understand the old all time? And this is this is by no means a diss or like uh whatever. Broly is the third best. You want to know who the top two is? Pokemon 1 and 2. You know how God like that is? <laughs> Do you know how God like that is? No other fucking anime film touches Pokemon. No Ghibli, no fucking Akira, but Dragon Ball? Broly came very close to topping. And this yep. is and again, this is during a way different time. Pokemon, yo, they had them John, they had the commercials. That shit was all over the place. You go to Burger yeah. King, McDonald's, what was you getting? The play toys. You had everything. Yeah. You had there was no reason why no kid across the entire world and his mama was not in that theater watching Pokemon back in the day. The thing the the, the times were completely different. You want to know how we got third off of Twitter, off of social fucking media. That's facts. And not to mention, we we did have some uh, Mm. in real life like billboard prints, like closer to the release of the premiere in January of 2019. And the movie was a hit. It made millions. Yeah. So they have the budget. So you want to know what I want to see? If Akira Toriyama writes them another three hour fucking script, they better give us a three hour movie. You know what? What? Okay. Okay. Real quick, what movie would make the most sense? Broly Second Coming. You're a dick. (laughs) 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 Bro, that that was the most real shit I could have spit. Like, I didn't even think about that answer. That shit just came out. (laughs) 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 Because, bro, that's why I hate you sometimes. Like, it's that Broly Second Coming. Like, no, I was I was going to give you this nice like. Yo, what, hair, what color is his hair? What? What color is Broly hair? What color money? Green motherfucker! They're gonna make Broly two. Second coming. Give it. You know you want that money, Toei. Bird Studio, Toriyama son. You know you want your shit. <laughs> I was going to say. In my personal opinion, putting Broly aside, in my personal <laughs> opinion, <laughs> for, <laughs> for some logic my, my purpose, for, <laughs> for some logical purposes, I feel like I feel like the next movie, right? Because like with the way things are progressing in the manga and stuff like that, they, they want to hint that content's coming. They want Vegeta to get some new powers. Man's got to come home with Ultra Instinct. Oh, God, I keep saying that Ultra Instinct. Man's got to come home with Instant Transmission. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, he's got to come back with Instant Transmission. And then... We could get some backstory. We could see what Frieza's kind of plan is. Not as a not as a movie thing. Oh, that's that's down. Uh, not as a movie thing, but just as oh. kind of like a hey, what's Frieza up to? Checking up on him, right? So, I was thinking the next movie it would be logical for it to be plan a salad, plan a salad, like Vegeta coming home with that instant transmission, going to see his boy Kaba. Train some Saiyans, you know? 
and like they could actually get some they could actually get some backstory they could get some they could throw some yamoshi backstory in there or like maybe not even him specifically but talking about if they knew about a super saiyan god maybe one of those savages in universe 6 actually knows something about the azara form that we don't they have kale there too she knows you mentioned this before she knows how to control the berserk power she could help broly we were talking about that before she could help broly control it so like this could all be like this could be a movie. So you want Okay, so okay, so so from, I want Frieza's plan and to bring in Cooler. I want oh, wait, 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 wait. You you're making a trilogy. <laughs> I'm making a trilogy. You're making a crazy <laughs> no, 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 ass no. film right but now. No, 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 just being realistic, being realistic. I just want I would want like a planet with like some Saiyan backstory and they can like they could throw Frieza in there because he, we need some backstory on him in the first place and he's already mustering something up. They already hinted at that. They already hinted Vegeta's getting new powers and I was thinking about this the other day super quick. Can you imagine how mad Vegeta is? Like can you actually like process how angry Vegeta has to be for him to be training on Yarjap because when you think about all the shit he's been through getting hit with the Mafuba. Dealing with fusions like like Zamasu and like, you know, like shit like that, like dealing with Moro stealing energy, all this instant transmission spamming back and forth, like all these magical stuff that he's just not that he's just not doing, like time skipping, like all this stuff like men's is sick about all these techniques. Mm. He's like, man, I keep getting stronger for some fat ass to just put me down with the dumbest move I never heard of. Mm. Like. Can you imagine how mad he is to be to like go seek something? Cause like Vegeta's always been like a raw power type of person. Not like a brolic person, but like, you know, like a power solves, you know, like strength. I mean, you know, on some Jiren. <laughs> strength is absolute. <laughs> type uh... shit. But yeah, can you imagine how mad the Prince of Saiyan's gotta be to go to go find some type of special I'ma kill you, I'ma trap you up type technique because so are power's not doing it anymore. Are you implying a Vegeta movie? Because that could be a Vegeta movie. I feel like it could be a... Mm, I feel like it could be a monkey background movie. I would love that. I would love... See, that is something that... And I'm going to tell you why I love it. Because this is something that we don't... We haven't really gotten a lot of. We're kind of starting to a little bit, especially with Broly, because there was a lot of backstory within that movie in itself. But you know what? we don't have enough backstory for Dragon Ball lore. You know what? I'm going to just say, it could be the backstory, but you know what? You want to make it a trilogy? You could make it a trilogy, because if you put if you put Kale and you put Broly in there, that's the second coming. That's, 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 what, the that's new what I want to see. New. I want any excuse for them, because people are really out here assuming... Cause they got nothing better to do with their time and their fan art. That she like gonna get she, mad though. She lie and but but we don't know that. We don't know if she's actually. No, she's space bomber. She's totally jealous, bro. Chi Lai is the few. Chi Lai is the daughter of Zamasu yeah, and Bulma. Yeah, yeah. I saw the so, meme. I saw the meme. That that she that shit is scary. <laughs> but that is yes, I've seen the meme. But listen, man, listen. The only thing I'm gonna say about all that. As far as Chi-Li, Broly, I'm going to put that shit to rest. We don't actually know if there is any kind of physical attraction or sexual attraction at that rate because... Do y'all hear this, man? Dude, she saved his life. Oh, Do actually she wants to right ride now? on the Dragon Balls, too? We don't know that. First of all, Broly would kill her with his Shenron. You understand? <laughs> he would kill her. Let's not... Let's not... Come on. Look, I'm not trying to make this X-rated podcast, okay? But look, the fact of the matter is we we actually don't know. Like, everyone's been a he putting heavy assumptions. Heavy assumptions on that. She's showing him around. But that could it, could it could work its way into that. But I need to see it first. You know what I'm saying? I need to see, like, you know, Chilai. Like, oh, like, here's more chocolate, Broly. Oh, you never heard of this? Oh, here's this. And Broly is Tarzan. He's just learning. That's the only female he's seen, literally. But I have a feeling yeah, if he sees this Kale. this is what clear water looks like. This is what chocolate looks like. This is what Punani look like. Like, Broly. <laughs> Broly's just going to get it, bro. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really don't think that's an arguable topic. I think that's so ship type bay okay all right all right deal. like we, we're gonna have to freaking another time or something because i, I just i want there i want i want to get to a point where it's more understanding 
where their relationship lies. If there's an actual re- like attraction or cuz I want I want there to be like a clear cut like I want them to have the freaking interaction, man. I want to see Broly see Kale. I need to see it. Yeah, absolutely. I need to see it because then I want them to I want them to have that, that cause I just feel like they would make more sense together. Why? Because they have the same kind of power. They have the same kind of power. They do. Like, and to me, what happens to people that can relate? They become more attracted to one another because they can relate to the other like oh my god like i have i have a power that i can't control and what if they're the keys to their being able to control like that and and kale first of all she was able to control her shit with califla yeah so what if she's the one that teaches broly bro i said that yeah come on man like chill i get get this freaking boma bimbo out of here man (laughs) oh my god food for thought guys but yeah but i believe that's not in there I believe that is it. Oh, but I will say this on the topic of what I think comes first, manga or anime versus movie. I think a movie going into this series would be smart. Like it would be smart. But like, look, man, it's almost been two years. Yeah, it's it's been a minute. And I can tell you right now, it's not. I highly doubt if we were to get a movie first, I highly doubt that that film would come out over the summer because looking at it. They would have to announce it like yeah, now, they'd have, exactly, and then and they, they would, can't announce it, and right they're now. not going to because it's not happening. I highly doubt that shit that is opinion. not gonna happen. Because if it does, oh man, but it's not okay. And but it would also suck to start with the anime and then take another hiatus because they don't want everybody to be overwhelmed. Ah, uh, but no, 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 no. Because they want to come out with a movie for the First, money. No, nah, that's not how it works in Japan, bro. With popular, I mean, okay, no, nah, but, but listen, with popular series. That are constant, like Pokemon, for example. Yeah, yeah. That anime is running. Like that anime runs. Even even like Tokusatsu, like Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, their shows are going throughout the year. They're going on throughout the year. You know what's happening in the between? The movies. They're coming out at the same time. So, something to think about. Like, if it was up to me, I feel like because we've been already been waiting for a long ass time. Okay, we the, the the series ended in March of 2017. Yep. No, 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. Yeah, the like fo- right at the end of March. The following year in America, we got Broly. Japan got it that same year. That winter, like no, the 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 early the premiere was November, December. and was then no, the early premiere. Oh, okay. okay. The, then like the, the official premiere, premiere was, was December. December, right? December fourteenth. We got it a month later in January. Yep. The rest of the world got it at separate times. Yeah, I saw that. That was crazy. Like some dude, some parts of the world had to wait like way longer than we did. Yeah, and that's and that's crazy. And then to think like, okay, it's already been two years since the anime. And we've already been waiting so long for this, John. Like, they better not pull a bleach on us. And they just better not. But they're not gonna because we're, we know it's happening already. So that's, like, kind of out of the question. So what I'm leaving you all with is that me personally, I just, I want the anime to come first. Absolutely. I want the anime to come first because I know that if they were to, pl- if they were to announce a movie, that shit is not coming out till the winter time. And that's Japan first. I mean, it would be nice if they had a global release. That'd be beautiful. But I don't know, dude. All I'm saying is that no, I, 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 want, I want the anime to come back. They need that to come back. Now, here's a question. Which arc would you want to see first? Broly. Why do I even ask? Uh, well, so here's the thing. I want, the reason why is because I want, like, the chances of us getting the stuff that got cut out gets put in. Yeah. Like, think about it. Battle yeah, of no, God's exactly. anime, way better than the, the fucking movie. Goku vs. Beerus was... The fight. OD was in the anime. Was more OD in the anime. Dude, the, the movie was like... But I thought that the arc as a whole, I was like, man, I thought that the movie was better at the arc, but the fight, it was more detailed in the anime. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah, detailed because it was a movie. Different kind of production quality. No, I'm saying the fight was more... The fight was... Nah, the fight was more detailed, not in like an animation perspective, but oh. like just like... 
like what we got to see in the anime. Like we got to see way more because it's an anime. Yeah, not yeah, a movie. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The so we anime, for, so for yeah. the fight for the fight specifically that fight uh, like God of Goku versus Beerus and whatever that was better in the anime because we got more content for it. But just like the arc as a whole, I didn't think they had to do all that. It's just watch the movie. Yeah, dude. Like I'm telling you, like as awesome as Broly was in the film, bro. And if they have all of their eggs in the in the basket, they're doing a, a fantastic job with all the pre-production, the planning, and yep. there's no rushing with the anime. And if the rumor about Shintani doing the anime is true, like if that's how Dragon Ball looks from now on, like movie quality animation by Shintani himself, like, dude, Wait, we're, who's, it's over. Whose artwork style do you prefer? Shintani. Really? Shintani. I, I, I learned to love Shintani quick. You want to know why? That is the closest style we've seen to the manga. And I have nothing against what we've got for the anime for like Tournament of Power. Those episodes were, yes. were great. That's a style that I've kind of been more used Yamamoto to. Yamamoro, bro. I'm telling you, like, I have no hate, but Shintani just captured Dragon Ball at its like. Like, it, 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 that movie made Dragon Ball feel the most Dragon Ball it's ever felt. Okay. So that and like, if I'm in Broly, like, come on, Broly, Broly, go, Broly. But yeah, no, seriously, like <laughs> that. But that, yeah, that's that's that. Those are the things that I would like to consider because again, like, okay. they can announce it like fairly soon and announce it to to start releasing in by June, July, August, around the summertime. That would be perfect, just like so. It would be godlike. All right, that's my opinion. I'm saying, like, I, because I, I just feel like with, with when it comes to planning and trying to market a movie, they would have to put it out later, and I don't want to wait no more. You know who my favorite is? Uh, uh, what animator? I forgot his name. I forget the animator's names too. Uh, like, I'm surprised I remember so Yamamura and Shintani. It was, it was. Well, not Shintani. It wasn't Shintani. either of them. I don't think it was. Uh, I think it started with an S. It was the one who did who did that one. Who you know what I'm talking about that fight with his, with Hearts and Goku, but like when he drew that that like the whole the whole world. I was about blew to say Sagi Su, but that's a composer. Nah, nah. <laughs> that's a Bleach composer, I think. Yes. Ah, uh, this is killing me. You about to look it up before we go? I don't even have service. You don't? No, I can't. Hold on, I'll just this bro. This weather really like it, dude. This weather has affected my entire area. My internet, uh, I don't even think is working right now. So wait, Shin. Shintani uh, is the one that do, does the movie. No, I know that. Ah. Oh. Okay. While he's thinking, I'm loading this up, and it's taking a pretty long time to load. I'm just doing a, a quick Google search, but in the, nah, it's okay. This is full power out of control. It's, bro, the Wi-Fi out of control. Oh, Sheeta. Sheeta, yes, yes, Sheeta, bro. Naotoshi Sheeta. Oh my God, Sheeta, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. Like, like they're so, They're all solid. Like they're all solid. Yeah, in their they're, own ways. they're but all yeah, solid. Bro, when I saw when I saw Sheeta at play, I was just like, God damn. Forty seven. They're solid. Forty seven. <laughs> they're all solid. But, anyways, guys, that's been a that, damn. That was a nice. This is a long two hour episode. That's pretty godlike. Shout outs wow. to all the stuff we talked about today. But this is this is this is literally how I want this to go. This like, is a really good one though because we didn't talk about a lot of things. We talked about a couple things in like depth. And that's like, what I like. I like it to feel as natural as possible. Full power out of control. That's the that's the slogan of this. Full power out of control. Done. You know, some some episodes might be shorter than others. Some might be longer than others, but that's totally okay with me. Because I want this to feel as natural. <laughs> As, as possible. So, you have any plugs you'd like to uh, share with the folks at home so they can follow you anywhere? Instagram, Twitter, YouTube? No, I'm good. I kind of do my own thing, you know? So, you lurk in the shadows? I'm KaiCast. Like, everybody know? You know, that's cool. So, they can follow you at KaiCast? I mean, yeah. Y'all can find me at KaiCast on anywhere. Just hit me up. Like, hit me up on Discord anywhere you, you want to. We can just, you know, chill, hang out, talk Dragon Ball, whatever. But, I mean, yeah. No. This is, I'm, part of, I'm part of Uchi Gang, so... Mm. Hit that like button, sub to Uchi Games, you know, plug yourself. So, as always, um, one of the sponsors of Uchi Games that I definitely will mention uh, is the Imori. This is the hoodie that I've been uh. sitting on right there. All the fresh anime, original created swag that you could have possibly imagined. 
Um, they are a proud sponsor of Uchi Games. If you use Uchi 15, you use uh, save yourself 15% off your entire order. Um, and I I rep their clothing brand all, like all the time. They're yeah. really good stuff. Um, a lot of different designs. I'm pretty su- I'm pretty sure soon enough he will be making some Dragon Ball related stuff because he he nice. does he does have some themes like he has like a Naruto hoodie like Team Seven. Um, he's got original stuff and then he has like other things like JoJo references and whatnot. Well, uh, Omaiwa Moshinderu hoodies and stuff like that. So, you know, check them out. Um, also, of course, like I always say in my videos, all the links are gonna be all the. Links that you could definitely support are going to be in the description below. And as always, guys, keep it classy right here on Uchi Games' channel. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. All that good stuff. Like I said, in the description. Um, and feel free to let us know if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like That's us really to talk idea. about in the forthcoming uh, episodes of Full Power Podcast. Because this is going to most definitely be a continuous weekly as long as we don't get fucked by snow or some shit. Yeah. Um, and by the way, real quick, I just like to slip in there, like take, you know, take, take what Uchi said to heart. Like if you have something you'd like to bring up and just like leave in the comment section, don't think like, Oh, it's too stupid. Like, no, there's no hate here. Like yeah. just bring it up. Listen, we're going to talk about it. We're going to review it. You know, like you're cool. Like, we're, we're full power. We're out of control. Yeah. Even if it's some like, okay, well don't make it like ridiculous, but I mean, no, e- even the ridiculous is don't push your limits on the comment section. <laughs> yeah. Like I like don't break your limits. A lot there. of a lot of stuff I won't even acknowledge. Let's be real. Like if it's if it's like fucking I feel like there's a lot of stuff just worth being acknowledged. Just yeah, like you know, just like, I mean like the meme shit. Like yeah, don't, that's don't what be, I'm don't be a meme. Like if yeah. you have something that you like an idea you hold dear, like just put it down. Yeah. So again, if you want if you want to have your voice heard or your idea put out there for us to discuss here on the full power where we are out of control. Let us know in that comment section below. It's been your boy Ooch, my man Kai, and we will see y'all next time. That rhymed. Break. That was bars. That actually rhymed. Bro, that. This is a real one. Oh, fuck. This is like. Like. Ugh. Oh my god. Broly. Go, Broly. Go, Broly. You, you can take a quick gander at it really quick so you know exactly what the hell is going on. You know what? I should. Some episodes, I should probably just come in surprising you. You have no idea. Sometimes those are the best ways to go about uh, podcasts. Like you, one person knows the topics, the other one doesn't, and he's free bullish. Are you all set? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs>